The biggest bull. <laughs>tell you right now unless you get here before the stream starts head stream a cat head stream um we're gonna go full bro we got the fucking this going and everything um unless you get here before the stream starts you are not first all right i'm just good for all the people that like come in and like am i first 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 unless you were here like 30 minutes before stream starts you were not first the the competition these days is is like that there are some motherfuckers that are here first so um
Yeah, I saw, um, I saw y'all fucking, I, I, I check in on you. I check in on you. I may not fucking speak, but I check in on you. Um, I'm your big brother after all, cat. Um, Karina was burning something with fire, uh, when I checked in and you were like, what's that screaming? Karina's like, oh, that's me. I'm just burning them with fire. I was like, I, it's like that, huh? Um, Hey, G Mike. Um, yeah. Uh, Mossy. Um, what monologue? What monologue you working on, Mossy? I alternate between pink and blue these days. Um, also, oh, yeah, Mike, you haven't, this is just for, this is just for guitar Mike, everyone. I'm fucking rocking skirts these days. Yeah, dude, best thing I did. Best fucking thing I did. Um, they're so goddamn comfortable, Mike. They're so fucking comfortable. Oh my god, man. Especially in our part of the world. Um, for theater, it's just a random one I pick for auditions. Um, yes. Oh my god, man. I'm telling you. I ain't going back. I ain't going back, man. They can't take it. They can't. You could pry my fucking skirt out of my cold, dead hands. Charlton Heston. Um. Ah, rumble. It's not as painful as it has been, but it's still, I know, like, it's injured. So, it is what it is. Um. <clears throat> Mossy, what, um, what monologue? Is it just, like, is it out of something in particular? Or is it, like, you know. Hashtag free the sack. Um. Yeah, is it, a, is it a specific monologue? Um, and Hoss, um, thank you for the follow. Oh, wait, hang on. Hoss00312 underscore from Hoss00312. Uh, hmm, suspicious. Either way. Uh, Jay, I ain't working out for shit anymore. My ankle's fucked. Uh, not until this shit. I I'm gonna have to rehab this ankle. I'm gonna have to do phys uh, physical therapy on it. Um, Mossy, Mossy, send me the link. Send me the link. I want to see the. I want. I want to see the monologue. Send me. Yes, yes, yes. Send me the link. It's been a while since I've done a monologue. C Cassidy, Bobby, watch out for that hurricane, y'all. <clears throat> My neuropathy is miserable today. In case, in case um, anybody was wondering, dude, my hands, my feet, I'm fucking miserable, right? Like I would very much prefer to be just like soaking in an extraordinarily hot bath right now. But I love y'all. I'm here for you. Um, all right, that you know you keep me sane. <clears throat> all right, even the color purple. In even the color, uh, I'm sorry, if purple, blue, blue. The, it says blue. B L U E. I saw purple. Um, even the color blue, e in even the color blue, Johan or jo uh, Johan confesses to his mother who he truly is and wishes to have her acceptance and support in telling his father. Oh, this is a coming out monologue, isn't it? <sighs> uh, there's a fire rage in about three miles getting ready for a potential evac. Oof, Jesus, Mike. Um, uh, you know, Mossy, it is what it is. Hot tub stream. Um. Okay, so let's see if I can do this just on the fly. Hang on, I'm gonna need this in front of me though. So, no, 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 I don't want to. I don't want that. I want. I want you to just pop it open. All right. <clears throat> it's been a while. Forgive me. Forgive me. <sighs> are you gonna cry, Mossy? Are you gonna cry? This is this is the sort of thing that you could work some tears in. 
I, I'm not going to be able to work some tears on the fly. Um, I'm not that good anymore. But uh, are you you're going to cry? Oh, fuck yeah, Mossy. Fuck yeah. Ba- bear in the soul. I love it. I love to hear it. All right, let's see if I can do this. Um, I'm going to have to get close on mic on this. I didn't, I didn't set out to be this way. I tried for so long to run away from myself. I, I've run all my life. Every damn day I'm haunted with the fact that I'm living a lie. And I don't, I don't want to hide anymore. I, I don't want to hide from you, f- from dad. I don't want to be this way, but I have to be this way. There is. There is no other way for me. I, I've tried everything else. This, this is me, Mom. I never wanted to hurt you or let you down or, or, or be less than the son you've always wanted. I, I know I'm probably not the son you've wanted, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to be accepted for who I truly am. Not for who everyone thinks I am. I just want you to know how I feel inside about this and how hard it's been for me all these years. I'm not trying to hurt you and dad. I only want your acceptance. And scene, bitches. I think I, I think I did pretty fucking good at that. On the fly, improv. That's been years since I've had to do a fucking monologue. Um, Kez. Hey, what's up, Kez's people? Um. Uh, Mossy is doing a, a, a monologue, and I had Mossy send it over. I was just, want, I wanted to give it a try on the fly. That's what that was. It was, it was a monologue from In the Color Blue or something like that. Um. And Raid. I know, right in the middle of it. The fact that I fucking managed to hold that through it. Um, yeah, well, you know, they're, they're muscles. Fuck you, Wither. Do better. Um, yes, yes, throw roses at me. Did I ever get flowers? I don't think I ever got flowers. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mossy. Um, yeah, I, I got close. I got close to the tears. I got close. If that monologue were like maybe two paragraphs, I might be able to eke out a tear on it. Oh, the ankle's not great, but um, my hands and my feet are way worse today because um, today it's the neuropathy. The neuropathy is killing me today. Um, I'll take a five out of seven YouTube apology video any day of the week. Uh, Viva, fuck yeah. Uh, Jeff B three nine nine zero. Um, actually, hang on, let me check something really quickly. All right, it's not a new account. Um, yes, in fact, I am an anarchist. I uh, have been for many, many years. Uh, uh. uh yeah. Yeah, if that if that monologue had gone on for like a paragraph more, I might have been able to eke out some tears. But yeah, that felt good. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Um, I felt good. I haven't gotten to exercise those muscles in a while. I um, uh, we'll see if we can't hold stream tonight. Uh, seeing as last night, fucking my internet decided to like somebody ran into a fucking pole. Somebody just commented on one of my uh, YouTube videos. Um, you're even better than a unicorn because you're real. I don't know if it's one of you motherfuckers, but um, no, I'm an anarchist. Um, oh, lovely Kez. Oh, Jesus, Caboose, 700 acres right now. Boof. Ah, uh, this helps so much, guy. <laughs> Mossy, I, I just 
did what I used to do. Um, but thank you. Um, I, if it was added inspiration or something, you know, like I, I, I would very much prefer to, um, have gone through that a few times. Um, but honestly, there is something to a cold read of a monologue. Um, if you have the instincts, if you like, if you've been doing it for a while and you have the instincts for a scene, honestly, I'd rather go into a monologue cold than over prepared. Yeah, if if I have my choice as an actor, I would rather um, improv my lines or go into a monologue cold than having like a month of preparation. It's easier. It's easier. Um, uh, Marcus, that's the first. That's that's next week, Marcus. Um. Yeah, exactly, Kaz. Yeah, you, once it starts feeling scripted, you lose it. Um. Uh, that's because they successfully dodged it, Joey. It's because they successfully dodged it. It was a good fucking PR p push. Credit where credits due. They they did it correctly. Um, slimy fuck, but they did it correctly. Oh, you can still see I'm tired even. Um. Uh, <laughs> I have failed at linear time. Good to know my tuition money wasn't wasted. Um, yeah, yeah. The OnlyFans thing—they they did the correct thing. They fucking—they changed the uh, the narrative. Credit where credits due. Ah, uh, dude, Sven. Most of us are fucking reformed theater kids. Kez is like. How many of us here are, are, are like, uh, are, um, recovering theater kids? Like, cause I have a, yeah, I have a hunch, a good chunk of us are spent. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, um, I'll, uh, f five wither. Um, you know what, Marcus, I'll take it. Speech and debate, I'll take it. Um, six, oh, seven, sorry. Jesus Christ, I, I can count. Um, I had drama in high school and did a play in college. S eight. Um, yeah, like, there's a bunch of us then. Like, this is, this is, uh, nine. Um, of course you were that guy, Kaiser. Um, 10 with rumble, beasticle 11, oh Jesus, caboose, um, yeah, so there you go, Sven, there's at least a 12, still climbing, still climbing, yeah, there's like 12 people in here, at least, um, <laughs> Viva, I, I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to count it. Uh, we could do a musical. No, we couldn't wither. I was not musical theater. I was theater. It's one third. Chainsaw, thank you for doing the math, Chainsaw, for the theater kids. Uh, yeah, like a, a third of us right now are fucking re are recovering theater kids. Yeah, it, it's oh yeah. I didn't. I dude. I didn't do musical theater. It wasn't my. It wasn't my bag. Um, I know. Like, uh, fucking somebody asked a question, and you have to understand. We're like, just the show's just starting. We're just getting warmed up. Give us a second. Um, would you are would you agree that humans naturally create a dominance hierarchy among their groups? No, actually, I wouldn't, Jeff. Um. I would point to indigenous societies who organize themselves, uh, what we would describe it anarchistically, um, that use hierarchical organizational structures um, that date into prehistory. Um, that no, it isn't necessarily a natural phenomenon. That it is an artificial social construct that has been so prevalent for a portion of our, re our recent histories um, 
couple thousand years, but given the human time span, that isn't actually that much. Um, so you sort of assume it to be a normative value. Um, yeah, also natural doesn't necessarily equal good. Cat, cat, is true. Uh, cat is correct on that one. Just because we, we don't fly either, but we fly. We're not meant to be in space either, but we're in space. We're not meant to be doing this right now, but we're doing this right now, right? Natural for human beings doesn't mean shit. Who gives a shit? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we're not meant to do by nature's decree that we do every day. Who gives a fuck? Um... What's going on over here? Hang on. Okay, cool. Toxic masculinity ruined most of the fun things growing up. I can't wait till we evolve past this BS mindset. I'm sorry, Crix. That sucks. But bro, are birds' nests natural? No. Birds' nests aren't natural. Just because they instinctually do it, I mean, we don't know. We can't fucking get into a bird's head and ask them. Like, are you, is, you know, there seems to be a creative process attached to many of the nest, uh, nests that they build uh, in an attempt to attract a mate. So there's at least a creative process that goes into some of them. So, yeah. Uh, fair enough, Kez. We're, everybody, we're going to go smoke a spliff with Kez. I'm going to give that bitch a stick. Bitches love sticks. Damn right, idiot. Hey, Gritty. <laughs> hey, Kabushi, want some blue? Uh, yeah. We're going to go full, like, uh, athletic bro, like gym, sort of like gym bro vibe for this one. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Since I can't be in the gym because my ankle's all fucked and shit, we're going to at least go for the, the, the vibe. What's up, bro? Good lats. Um, well, Jeff, I'm going to ask you questions now. I'm going to ask you questions. I would say we're utilitarian, and our utility determines our worth from mating to careers. First, do you, do you, are you using utilitarian as in a norm, uh, normative uh, ethical value? Because, I mean, uh, uh, normative ethical theory dictates utilitarianism, or is at least utilitarianism is a su subset of normative ethical theory. So are you using it as a, a prescriptive technical term or are you using it as a more generalized colloquialism is my first inquiry as to that. Um, second, um, our utility determines our worth from mating to careers is varied uh, from society to society. There is no universalist version of uh, human worth. In some societies, a provider could be the um, the. Uh, the primary driving factor for a mating drive, but as already pointed out, that in Australian Aboriginal culture, women are by and large the sort of matriarchal hunter uh, dominant force in their society. Therefore, a man's ability to provide for his family isn't really the utility, uh, yeah, the utility value that you would seek to analyze in that uh, regard. And anthropologists would use. Um, cultural relativism in this sort of aspect, which by the way, I am a universalist in, in with regards to cultural relativism, but um, that's neither here nor there. So
but that actually warrants even if that were true even if that were true that warrants a hierarchical organizational structure not a hierarchical if my mating choice is based on what i lack then what i'm seeking is balance not dominance you're you're undermining your own argument with that argument which is fine it just makes my life easier Anyway. Is there anything I wanted to talk about today? I can't show you that. Oh, guys, you want to see some cringe shit? You want to see some super cringe shit? Hey, Zomo, what's up? Um, let's let's watch some cringe. Nice. Thunderstorms are fucking. I'm gonna I'm gonna be super. I'm super. I'm, gonna, I'm one of the kids, yo. Um, thunderstorms are poggers. Um. Shiny new laptop, Lenovo, one terabyte SSD, 16 gig, Ryzen 5, yeah, I'll take it, 3.3, um, okay, uh, give her, uh, six core, RTX 3050, not, you know what, yeah, Marcus, that's not bad, that's not bad, for a student and a Luddite, that is, that isn't bad at all, um, okay, so let's watch some cringe, y'all, um, so Amazon Prime has a uh, Prime Video has a new Cinderella that they're fucking promoting. Um, the fairy godmother is a fairy in the '90s '80s uh, sense. All right. Well, if you're gay and you think that corporations pan, uh, this is this is this is bad. This is bad. Just this is bad. Just wait. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Yes, future queen. Yes. What's that, prince? You'd like to dance? Uh uh uh. Get in line, your highness. Hold on. Where am I going? Oh, wow. They're beautiful. They're glass. Any way you can make them more comfortable. No. But your magic. Women's shoes are as they are. Even magic has its limits. Don't you feel, uh, don't you feel accepted, everyone? Don't, is that, that's the representation you were looking for, right? Yeah. I personally, as a gay man, definitely dress up on dra dress up in dra uh, drag every weekend. This is for sure, this is for sure the representation that I was looking for. Yeah, definitely. Hey, bit of win. What's up, man? What's up? Is there anyone who that doesn't make uncomfortable? I don't know. Let's see. Straight dudes probably are uncomfortable with that. Gay dudes are uncomfortable with that. Women are uncomfortable with that. Black people are uncomfortable with that. Um, yeah, basically. Um, you know. Yeah, it's 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 bad. It's bad. <clears throat> um. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, I'm saving this. <laughs> um. Hey, Erotimus. Um. <laughs> Marcus, what's this cold? <laughs> what's this cold metallic taste in my mouth? Oh, I appear to be trying to fillet a chef's knife. Um. 
So we put your gaze in the mo in movies, and it's still not good enough for you. Exactly, Viva. Just fucking bitchy, demanding gaze. I know, right? Um, guys, hey, nice. You glad you finally have a spokesman? Um, spokesperson, Mike. Spokesperson. Uh. I've never wanted to be more under uh, to, be, to be underrepresented more than I do right now. Exactly, idea. Um, uh, there, pull that a little closer. Nice, Zoma. Oh. I would show you a video, but I can't show you the video. Um, if you want to watch it. Jesus Christ. Um, it's in shared content. Um, I can describe it. Uh, a Loveland, Colorado cop shoots a couple's dog denies their pleas to take it to a vet. The sergeant then shows up and coaches him on how to fabricate the incident report. They then later lie to animal control and then don't follow mandatory reporting on firearms dis uh, firearm discharges. That is true, Crix. Um, and so if you don't want to see the dog get shot, don't watch the video. It's just one of those days, y'all. It's one of those days. They call the godmother Fab G. Oh, for fuck's sake. Beastical. I didn't need to know that. Um, Joey, it is. Um, on average, there's... Hold on. Let me let me get the numbers because the numbers update. Um, about 25 dogs per day. So a little over one per hour um, in this nation. Cops shoot a dog. So about every hour in America, dogs, uh, uh, cops shoot a dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the point, Jeff. You you literally missed the point. Good on you. Yeah, oh yeah, Kez. Like, uh, six people getting shot here might make national headlines for, like, half a day. Maybe. Maybe. Bitches don't have to deal with anything. Run it in, why don't you? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, the quarterback isn't the leader of the team. I mean, wouldn't... My, my sports analogies are rough here because as admitted theater kid, um, but wouldn't... Listen to the sound 
Okay, so... The quarterback isn't the team captain. Not necessarily. Interesting. I, I was I was going to say, like, I come from soccer where we have a designated team captain. Um, and it looks like football works that way, too, since at least 2007. Um, yeah, like this, this, this analogy just starts to break down immediately at this point. Yeah, ultimately, a football team isn't... The team may be hierarchically organized, but the team team, like big capital T team, it's a strictly hierarchical organization, and those football players do exactly what their fucking GM and their owner tell them to do. They're essentially slaves. Indentured servants of a sort. Okay, this is terrible. How is this EDM? How is this EDM? God, Pretzel has... Pretzel has no concept of musical genre. Whoever organized... Dude, I feel like sending him an email and saying like look i'm not a musician but i'll volunteer to organize your music for you because god damn you guys are shit at this it's astounding some days absolutely astounding to me um I don't know Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry, but I'm guessing. User generated tags are the way to go. I know, right? Um, is it stream safe? No, it's not. Oh, they're 100% stream safe for live uh, VOD, face, Twitch, Facebook. It doesn't, uh, oh, it doesn't. Okay, so this um, Zomo isn't YouTube safe. It's only Twitch safe. Oh, 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 they've got a free YouTube music plan too. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me just hear this really quickly. Okay. Um. Okay, it's like that. It's like that. Okay. I'm going to have to listen to some of this. Um. Yeah, crunchy. Okay, cool. Zomo, I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look and sign up for some stuff. I know, that's what, uh, why I was surprised you had those haters fucking literally, like, um, aping you, Cat. I was like, who the fuck? Why is Cat getting the, the, the weirdo hate shit? That's fucking hilarious. Um, Baby's first Doom soundtrack. Um, multiple people went with the Doom thing. All right. Uh, we already know. We've got multiple people who live in the who are in the community and live in Louisiana News World. Thank you, though. Scandroid is '80s techno retro vibe with mostly instrumentals. Um, Scandroid. Okay. That may work for me. That may work for me. Again, not EDM. Oh, 
God, my hands are miserable. Hands, feet, legs, it's up to, it's up to about thigh right now. Um... I mean, I'm sure I've heard it, Zomo, but I don't remember it, no. I, premarital, I know, right? It's absolutely ridiculous. Dude, Pretzel Rocks is fucking genre, like, I don't know what their fucking deal is. Um, you keep saying utility, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna require a prescriptive formalized definition of utility for uh, from you, um, Jeff, to continue this conversation, because you are heavily reliant upon it, and I'm not entirely sure you're using it in a traditional philosophic or political science uh, technical de uh, manner. So I want I want a prescriptive definition out of utility from you, please. Um. I'm guessing it's he's using it as a generalized uh, descriptor, so something like uh, fitness or purpose of worth. Yeah, but we'll see. Who knows? I just saw a headline. Hold on. This is fucking hilarious. Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, trooper hits black motorist 18 times with a flashlight, calling it pain compliance. Broken jaw, three broken ribs, a broken wrist, and a gash to his head that required six staples to close, all while screaming, I'm not resisting, I'm not resisting. They kept the video secret for two fucking years. It was less than three weeks after troopers from the same agency stunned, dragged, and uh, 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 stunned and dragged another black motorist before he died in police custody uh, on a rural ro roadside. Yeah, just proven the the worth, uh, the value of the cops. Cassie, neither of us are shocked from Monroe. Uh, no, Zelmo, but I don't go to Disney, so, but not surprised. My guess is utility equals worth value. Oh, that's not utility at all, Jeff. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, like, whoever did the fucking, I don't, who, who did the quote? I don't think it means what you think it means, quote? Damn. All right. Okay. Um, my ex, oh, wait, I saw something. There we go. My ex is so obsessed. She spent two twenty thousand 20,000 a year on Disney and collectible coat pins after our divorce. Then she asked me for a loan to pay rent. Jesus. Goddamn Christ. Zomo. Night, Kez. 
and <laughs> Nigo Matoya climbing cliffs of insanity. Inconceivable! Inconceivable! Actually, I think I pretty much nailed that voice. That was pretty goddamn close to his voice. Actually, I have nonsense. I've seen uh, I've seen somebody with uh, twelve fingers. Yeah. Yeah, polydactyly. Oh. Uh, good on you, uh, Mike. Convinced Dennis Breaker is actually that Sicilian. Ah, uh, please don't get me into identity politics. All right. Then how about this, Jeff? I did nonsense. I saw that the Nirvana kid is suing and making claims of child pornography too while he's at it. Jesus Christ. Um, Kaz, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> um, how about this, Jeff? How about this? Disparate groups such as the Department of Defense and the um, British Architectural Association have all, uh, have investigated the value of hierarchical organizational structures and operating modalities um, for field operations in the sense of the DOD and for business organizational structure in the sense of the British Architectural Association. Here's their general findings. It is more reliable, more resilient, more robust as a decision-making platform. This is the DOD. The British Architectural Association found that when engaging in uh, commercial practices, even under capitalistic modalities, what they found was it is more resilient to economic downturns. It is more productive as a business environment, both for the employees as well as the clientele. It is uh, They have higher rates of happiness and satisfaction, both amongst the, uh, the clients and the employees of the organization. They have lower employee turnover, and they have higher rates of creativity expressed within the organizational structure. So heterarchical organizational structures have been tried by the U.S. military and British architects alike, and they both found them very valu uh, valuable assets in organizational modalities. Here's what we can tell you about um, the history of anarchism and heterarchical organizational structures. Even a small bat of a fucking nation such as Cospia managed to last 375 years even in the face of the papal states bearing down upon them because of that hierarchical organizational structure and its resiliency therein. Here's what uh, somebody who's schooled in cybernetic or information tech, uh, cybernetic theory or information technology or network uh, network topologies can tell you as well. It's centralized organizational structures versus decentralized versus distributed, which is what a hierarchical or an anarchistically organized society would look like, are the most resilient to upset within the network topologies. Meaning that your society, your economy, your uh, your actual system of governance can thereby outlast uh, disruptions in your society better. So there you go. Now, if you choose after I, I after I fucking threw you that lifeline, if you choose to continue to engage in identity politics that's on you okay what did this moron say holy shit he's a fucking moron Yeah, never mind. Genitalia evolution. Yeah, I'm a finally, I'm finally fit a girl that pussy. Oh, Adia. Oh, 
Okay, so now here's here's what I know about you, Jeff. I threw you a fucking lifeline. I gave you an out to start talking about heterarchical organization. Peace, Kaz. Jeff, you're you're probably about to catch a catch a fucking something from a mod. And I mean, I hate to say it, but you you pretty much earned it at this point. Congratulations, sweetie. Good, good on ya. Karina is officially diagnosed with gender dysphoria and is getting on fucking hormone blockers. Good on you, Karina. Live your truth. No Mazel Tov. 80, I love it. Mazel Tov. Um, Cotton Mouth. You're, you're not smart. At, wait, hang on. I recognize this name. I remember you. No, Castro is a centralizing communist. Very good, though. Um, you can point to a few anarchies here and there. Here's just here's just the Eurocentric history of anarchism. If I include Latin America, Japan, Korea, my book collection goes out to this. Just saying. Anyway, it's an empathetic straight male. I know I have no say and it has nothing to do with me, so I simply stay out of debating gender politics. I respect the individuals as they are, no matter how they choose to live their lives. Soma, what a fucking enlightened take. Uh, um, it could also be um, put up as mind your own fucking business, right? Good old New Englanders attitude for America. Mind your fucking business. Ain't got nothing wrong. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Shut the fuck up. Mind your own damn business. <clears throat> Name a modern leftist state. Name a state that's anarchistic. Oh, he hurt himself in his confusion. Cr What's up, Krusty? Damn right from New York. Exactly. Good old fashioned New England fucking mind your own damn business. Cotton mouth. The point is, anarchists don't form states. This is what you don't understand, and this is why we're laughing at you. Is name name a country on Earth on the moon? What you're saying is literally nonsensical, and we're making fun of you for it. But you don't get that because you don't even understand the basic tenets of anarchism, let alone political science as an over, uh, overarching uh, concept. It's fucking hilarious. We don't believe in geopolitical borders. Zomia? You want, you want a cheat sheet? What's your definition of large? Because you're going to move the goalposts. You're gonna you're gonna move the goalposts on me. So what's your definition of large? 
how many, what's, what's the hurdle I have to clear? Let's set the hurdle first. That way you can't move the goalposts on me. Cool, then fuck off. Yeah, pivot. If you've got, uh, if you've got like a, a conservative or right winger or chud fucking pivot on your bingo card, feel free to mark that off now. Pivot. Oh, Sven, this is what we do. Caboose, I just saw the fucking comment section shit you posted. Caboose is monitoring the nearby fire in a local news site. Comment section, one of the ones he posted. This ain't never no happen with Trump in office. Cr exclamation mark. Biden has been, Ben, Ben, capital, Ben, B-E-N, but capital, like formalized name. Um, Biden has been a complete failure. Uh, time people wake up. This Drought, drought, yeah. This drought is nothing but a scam. God, I fucking love it. Oh, he believes in alphas and betas. He's adorable. Oh, can we keep him? Hey, shrimps. Can we keep him? I It's been a while since we had one of these alpha beta idiots. Can we, I, I, I just, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to pet him and feed him. Well, it's, I, I was having to spell check live as I w was reading that, Sven. It was fucking, dude, that's a nightmare of a fucking... <laughs> yes, Siddhartha, I'd like to be reincarnated as anything other than a human, please. Kai, we have enough pet chuds. God damn it. But Mossy! Only beta males believe in alpha beta shit. No, it's true, though. Oh, you're adorable. <laughs> Lord, the 1980s called asking after their dodgy studies. Um, you should try reading my brother's text. He uses single characters randomly to represent long words. Not a clue what he's saying when he sends me a text. Man. Real men, Jeff. You're so you're a real man, Jeff. When's the last time you uh, you broke down uh, like a major quadruped? I'm sure you you bow hunt your own elk, right? Tardis exclamation anarchism in chat. We'll get you the channel definition if you have questions after that. Feel free. Can I get reincarnated as a cis girl? Princess, we'll uh, we'll forward you the uh, the the proper forms. You have to fill them out in triplicate and make your uh, goat sacrifice at the next blood moon. But we can get it done for you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Zelmo. I mean, basically, one is a right wing. Um, uh, one is a right wing hyper, hyper uh, individualistic um, um, ideal set that has a strong belief in laissez-faire capitalism and is essentially close to uh, minarchy. And the other one is a leftist ideal set that believes in social well, uh, social programs, welfare of the people, and otherwise organizing and egalitarian enlightenment type principles. That's basically the dif- difference is one is born of the enlightenment and the other one is Randian, if you understand that terminology. Real, real men don't wash their asses and only laugh when slurs are involved. I don't make the rules. It's literally in the Bible. Turns out transitioning is most bureauc- mostly bureaucracy. Who would have guessed? Yeah, Marcus, it really is. The guys who didn't get laid growing up now get to play 9 to 5 alpha male. That's why they treat the world like the girl in school that they, uh, they tried to preserve. And she was really blowing the whole school. Okay, so I was the girl blowing the whole school in this scenario, Jeff. I don't know where, where how this works out. Either way, chances are I'd make you my bitch in real life. That's the truth. Between a lifetime of firearms training and hunting, survival knowledge, if it were truly an apocalyptic scenario... I can take down a I can take down an elk and feel, uh, field dress it. It's really not a big deal to me, right? Like this is just because I'm a, a skinny white dude doesn't mean I'm not capable. I have the stomach probably for things that you don't have. Growing up in a medical household as well, I have a stomach for gore and blood and viscera that many people don't have, especially soft ones like you who grew up in. Probably suburban America. You know, I've never had a mutant elk come across my sights, I'm guessing. Don't know what a mutant elk would entail, but, you know, I probably wouldn't consume it. It's probably not healthy, um, but, you know. It's all the same at the end of the day. <laughs> Ruminid quadrupeds, really? They're all the same. Yeah, princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know. <laughs> uh, princess for everybody. Princess Fina is um is Gaffodil. Um, but in their own words, now I'm a fucking princess. Twirls. Mossy, I had the nurse of the pediatricians today tell me I had lovely veins and I still don't know how to feel about that. I have I have good veins too. Um, they're difficult to see on camera, but I have good veins as well, Mossy. Um, nurses, phlebotomists, um, people who do a lot of blood draws come to appreciate good veins on people. Yeah, it's, it's one of those just weird things. And little Kai couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> little Kai has hurt many a thing. It's Fen. I try not to to allow creatures to suffer, but I'll put a motherfucker down. Yeah, I, I, whatever. I've hunted. I will hunt. Once I'm out of Nevada again and I'm back into like you know an East Coast state, if we do move to like the Carolinas or something like that, yeah, I'll take up deer hunting again for sure. <laughs> Zomo, Jesus. <laughs> Angie, guns and elk. Stop turning me on. Um, 
Yeah, fucking Jeff. Jeff has like hard incel vibes. Like, like straight up virgin vibes. Yeah. It, uh, princess, is it Finna or Fina? Am I... Uh, Finna? Fina. Let me know. Guess he knows no one in the medical field. All right, got that. I want to take you hunting with me, Sven. You need a reality check about me. Whether Kai can take me hunting when he visits my state. Uh, if I get the property set up correctly, uh, Wither, you can come on down and fucking... We'll hang. You're chill. Oh my god. Jesus, Zomo. Tina. So, Fina. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Princess Fina. I wish she's in remission. Um, yeah, I'd gladly fucking host you, Caboose. Oh. Zippy, that's fair trade. That's fair trade. That's that's just that's that's engaging in a reciprocal free associative uh, free, free associative uh, relationship. Um, uh, Jeff's little PP got. Jeff, 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 Jeff. You hit on a you hit on a trans woman and she turned you down, didn't she? It's okay, man. But you don't need to take that shit out on everybody. It's okay. We all get rejected from time to time. I had a porn star reject me. Yeah. Um told a few times I've been rejected. Um Just try and think. 15, 17 years ago now? Um, there's a gay porn star here in town for AVN, and I was I was trying to hit that shit hard. I was too thirsty. I was too thirsty, and he shot me down. Yeah. I it was just I was trying too hard. I know I know looking back, I know what my, my problem was. Yeah. I love, I love that the dude who was like, don't get me in identity politics, has spent nothing but time in bitching about identity politics. Fucking, these goddamn demon rats and their identity politics, they're ruining America, and then goes on like a 90 minutes uh, hate tirade about identity politics. And you're like, dude, I gave you an out. We could have been talking about hierarchical organizational structures. We could have been talking about anarchism proper. I gave you a fucking out. I put an exit right on the highway. 
You chose not to take it. You just fucking kept on just driving down the highway. You're like, no, fucking identity politics is horrible. Why must we talk about it? Now about identity politics, let me talk about it. You're a hypocrite and a little bitch. I got nothing. I got nothing for you, man. It reinforces how we got into the information age. Seeing as the vast majority of the technologies that run and operate the internet are developed almost along communistic principles. Um, open, source open source technologies and software run the internet. AWS is built on open source technologies. Twitch is built on open source technologies. Go check the Microsoft licensing set for, uh, for Windows. A good portion of Windows is built off of open source technologies. Your Apple phone is built off of uh, BSD open source technologies. Your fucking Android phone is open source technologies. All developed with a, a, a communistic principle. Uh, people who develop software from their own time for their own reasons with no so uh, seeking profit motive or incentive whatsoever. So one to one balls in your court. Caboose, the vast overwhelming majority use open source technologies. The majority of the corporate stuff that you'd be like, well, corporations did that. No, they didn't. They, they're they using open source technologies for their commercial products. Uh, Joey, all of my stuff is licensed under Creative Commons 4.0, share alike, non-commercial, attrib uh, attributive. Um, so like literally everything I do is licensed under that license set. Um, my streams, my videos, my essays, my photography, um, my websites, everything is licensed under, Hey Raphael, um, everything is licensed under creative commons 4.0, uh, share alike attributive, not, uh, non-commercial. So. Oh no, here comes Sam Cedar. Yeah, why would I talk to Steven Crowder? Like he won't even, dude, he literally runs out of the room when somebody who will properly argue with him walks in. You little bitch. He ran from Sam Cedar of all people. Like literally ran like a little bitch. Just picked his fucking I, unprepared unprepared college students at that. S fucking Steven Crowder spends like five days getting his little gotcha talking points in order. Probably more than that, frankly. And then just ambushes college students who barely, they're fucking 18 and 20 and shit. They don't even know how to jerk off properly at that age, right? Why would I talk to fucking Steven Crowder of all people? I'd talk to Ben Shapiro. Shabibo I'd talk to. He doesn't have his head up his uh, his ass as much as Steven Crowder does. But Bebo, um, fucking, he's got issues. But he isn't as bad faith as Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder's just a bad faith bitch. Oh, Gemma, no. Today my hands and feet are miserable. Truth doesn't care about your feelings. 
Yeah, and you're the one with your feelings hurt. Dude, you're the one sitting in chat, like, literally, like, crying about shit. Like, ah, fucking, the problem with society today is that men aren't as masculine as they, they used to be. Ah. Yes, anarchism. An, uh, an idealistic philosophy that uses meta-ethical analysis to, uh, to, uh, to demand power systems in a Foucaultian manner to justify their existence to those that would be uh, inhabiting them. Yes, feelings. Yeah, definitely feelings. For sure. For sure. That's, woo, man. I don't know. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine debating you. You'd be, oh, man, I don't, I don't know what I'd do. Uh, you're like a fucking baby trying to uh, box with Mike Tyson in his prime, bro. Know when you're out, you're outmatched. Just step off, man. Or step on. You want to have a conversation? You want to come on the air? You want to do this live? How are you without a keyboard? Ooh, Epistemology 101. What is truth and what's so great about it? I did, Herodimus. I did. Come on, Jeff. Get on the air. Yeah, everybody get your cowardly chud box ready if you're playing bingo. They never do. <laughs> Fuck it, that pissed me off, Rev. That pissed me off. Come on, Jeff. You can do it. You're a real man, right? You're an alpha. You wouldn't back down from a challenge. Real men don't back down from a challenge. Real men, when challenged, step up and show their show their utility, right? They show their worth as a man. I'm just some little fucking LGBT bitch boy anarchist online talking bit talking smack, right? Why don't you put me in my place? Fucking school me, man. I am a dude in pink nail polish and a skirt. I have challenged you. I have challenged your masculinity. You are less of a man than me. I'm more of a man than you. I am more of a man than you, Jeff. Everybody, here we go. Even JLP. Even JLP's calling you a fucking beta, man. Peace out, coward. That, that is what a fucking beta looks like. Sorry, man. Fucking cowardly chud. Mark it off.
amazing. Mark it off, everybody. Cowardly Chud, if you've got it. <laughs> Wither wasn't. <laughs> Wither, damn it. I don't know. Is fucking Patriot Kid fucking talking? I haven't noticed. Cappy, Cappy's, Cappy's good people. Cappy's the best people. Um. Hey, um, uh, fucking dude, uh, uh, Caboose. Um, Malwarebytes blocked that website you linked. Straight up. Uh, no, no, Angie, there isn't, but if you just want to hear it a bunch of times. Beta, 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 beta. Beta! Beta! There you go, Angie. Um, fucking Frackle dropping five gift bombs. What's up, Frackle? How long you been in here? Who got him? Uh, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, Teshi Reforged, Yellow Skulldog, Princess, uh, Princess Fina, Explosion85, and Dirty Underwears all got gift bombs. So at least one of those people is here right now. Um, oh, then you just... You missed, you missed the last Cowardly Chud, Frackle. We were just having a little fun with somebody who unironically believed in alpha and beta males and was bitching about fucking trans and identity politics and fucking blah, 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 blah. And of course, when they, um, when challenged, they left or they tried to leave. Um, when you, when we issue the formal challenge like that and you, you bitch out like that, you catch a ban. You're welcome, Angie. Um. Yeah, it was, it was, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Frackle, you've you've seen it before. You'll see it again. You know what's up. Oh man! Oh god, my hands are miserable. My feet are fucking miserable. My legs are fucking miserable. Oh. Yeah, dude, that was that was fucking weird ass talking point he had about like the sexes merging and like enlarged clitorises and shit. I I wasn't even following it at that point, but yeah, it's like what the fuck is this dude on about? Thank you, Frackle. Nah, I'm feeling it this way. Yeah, I don't know what he was fucking on about, but it was weird as shit. Patrona, looks like a chud, chud stream. Looks like a chud stream. Um, so far, 
I mean, the Master Chud Bader stream title is do is put in heavy lifting. Yeah, you wanted me to call Steven Crowder like I had fucking Steven Crowder's phone number or some shit. Dude, dude's weird. Dude, some of them are so fucking weird as shit, man. You're like, what are you on about? What are you on? Are you drunk? Wait, Sven, were you a fucking uh, a C-section? Um, yeah, yeah, Frackle. It seems to be that way, doesn't it? Imagine not having Crowder on speed dial. I know, right? Fucking loser. I'm such a fucking loser. Shrimps. Shrimps was a C-section, but I don't know if Shrimps has ever fucking crossed the line. Shrimps, are you, are you platinum? Did you ever go back? Oh, well, then you don't count. You're not a platinum... Uh, a, yeah, you you can't be a platinum gay, shrimps. So, you don't count. Um, Alright, so what else we got? Frackle. It used to be we need to defend states' rights as codes for ra as code for racism. Now it's we need to defend our right to ingest cheap dewormer as code for a need for edu a better educational system in this country. Just saying. Uh, to catch chuds, do you prefer live bait or plastic lures? Um, well, usually it's the stream title, so I guess it would be plastic lures, itty bitty. Yeah, plastic lures work best for them. <clears throat> if you make it too lifelike, they uh, they tend to get frightened and run away. <laughs> this is 1989 George Orwin. himself yeah wouldn't it be nice um and filed firmly under um filed a uh, filed firmly under some of those who uh, work forces the feds have admitted to um this is in their filing They've admitted to having uh, January 6th footage of officers, Capitol Police officers, fist bumping, hugging, and helping the rioters. Um, although we are aware that we possess some information fr uh, that the defense may view as supportive of arguments that law enforcement author uh, in authorized defendants, including defendant in this filing, to enter the restricted grounds, e.g. images of officers hugging or fist bumping rioters, posing for photos with rioters, and moving bike racks, we are not in a position to state whether we have identified all such inform uh, information. Some of those who work forces. Um, and if anybody wants to, there's there's the link to the the file uh, a piece of the filing. If you just want to look at it yourself.
Uh-huh. Me too. I've, I've seen him. Uh, yeah, how'd that work out for the fucking cops that they fucking beat senseless anyway? Gessie. That, that didn't work out well for him anyway. <laughs> how dare you, monkey? How dare you, Zippy? In no way, shape, or form do I look 40 tonight. Even though I, yeah, I, I fucking... That and I, I, I woke up at like 4.30. So I'm still very much just... Like, this is the early a.m. for me still. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I look tired. I look worn down. For sure. Yeah, Mossy, I'm just shy of it. Again, EDM. EDM. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Hang on. Give it a second. Okay. All right, I'll make an allowance. Um, let's see. We talked about the fucking guy who shot. Uh, we talked about the cop, the Alabama cop who shot the suicidal dude fucking getting 25 years. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I remember that one. Um, do y'all remember the video of um, Frackle? No, we haven't. Um, do y'all remember the video of the fucking de uh, the U.S. Marshal uh, sniffing the fucking um, the 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 three-year-old girl's underwear? Um, Gessie, that actually isn't true. Um, what w the corollary that you're looking for is wealth increase. It's not on average people tend to get more conservative with age. It's people tend to get more conservative with wealth accumulation, which happens as a corollary to age. It's not the aging. And what you're seeing amongst millennials is that it's not happening. The millennials are showing that that's not the core of the corollary you should be tracking. It's not age, it's wealth accumulation. And since the millennials have been screwed out of the majority of the wealth accumulation in this nation, they're not becoming conservative at the same rate. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, uh, fucking U Deputy U.S. Marshal uh, David, Timoth uh, David Timothy Moon was touring a Phoenix home for sale last May. And while his real estate agent was in another room, Moon went inside a three-year-old girl's bedroom and he dug through the dirty, hamp dirty laundry hamper and pulled out underwear. He holds the underwear close to his face and begins smelling them. Minutes later, he returned to the bedroom for a second round with the preschooler's clothing. When he left the room for the second time, he finally noticed the nanny cam. And you can see him cover his, his mouth and say, God damn it. Um, he is a former federal law enforcement officer now. They shit canned him. They, they shit canned him. Um, the U.S. The U.S. Marshal's office fired him outright. So, yeah.
keep moving those goalposts for you, Gassy. We'll see you in another decade. Increased rates of acceptability for socialism have increased to over 50% in the millennial generation. Right? Like it's it's not you're not going to see the rates of conservatism creep into uh, the millennials or the Zoomers the same way that it happened for the boomers. And Gen X just doesn't count for anything. They're just the ignored generation. Me Toad, I'm a believer in that, Me Toad. I am. I'm a believer in that. I think the, the fucking baby boomers are suffering from long-term lead, uh, lead poisoning. I, I, I truly do agree with that. conservatives seem to be on a mission to kill off boomers this year um i would never advocate for death violence or harm to come uh, come upon a people i'm also not going to stop you from running off a cliff is what it is right wither fucking wither yeah you've you've yet to separate that corollary from age uh, from wealth though guessy you're relying on a corollary to uh to age but you're ignoring the wealth gains that occur in and around those areas Gen X. Um, so let's see. We talked about the fucking yep, Louisiana beating the black man eighteen times with a flashlight. Um, did you all see the fucking cop have the panic attack? Holy shit. Um, this this fucking. He should not be a cop. He should not be a cop. He should not be a cop. This dude freaks the fuck out. He starts panicking and has a full-on panic attack. He fires seven wild, just random fucking shots, basically, without warning at a dude with a cell phone. And then breaks down into a full-blown panic attack. Zomo. Zomo, straight up. Um, if you need somebody to do some voiceover work, let me know. Um, I'm I'm gonna start putting that out there for people because I got a few video game designers in the community and people working on shit like that. You don't need to pay me. Just give me give me credit. Let me put it on my resume. Straight up, I'll I'll do it. I'll do it gratis. Provided it's not like, hey, read Das Kapital, you know that sort of shit. Um, yeah, I'll fucking, I'll do some. Let me know if you need something. Um, the bop bopper bop. Um, welcome bop. Yeah, I don't care, Zomo. I don't, that doesn't bother me. Bopping, of course. As is tradition. As is tradition. Um, yeah, Zomo, that doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, it's very traditional. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> um, okay. So, hey, Trailhead. Um, hot. As standard. Standard for this time of year. It's hot. 
I'm hoping that um, the the hurricane that's coming up in Louisiana in the Gulf will kick us some rain at least. This isn't about, this isn't, this is about age. Dude, this is statistically, it, I can literally look at this fucking thing you posted from HuffPost, fucking whoever the you are, I don't even, human wrongs. Um, even I, just at first glance, Barack Obama is the only Democratic candidate to win young white voters in the last 15 years. Yeah, because he wasn't 78. It's not about fucking race. It's about age. The millennials are fucking sick of having an 80-year-old in charge of shit. It doesn't have anything to do with white. How the fuck didn't they control for this? How the fuck didn't they control for this? Only 11% of the ca uh, Caucasian millennials marry someone of another race, the lowest rate of any racial group. Millennials don't get married. We have one of the lowest marriage rates that. Who did this study? Who wrote this? Who is Michael Hobbs? Senior enterprise reporter at HuffPost. He finally gets to the fucking point at the end. Millennials are more likely to register as independents more than Gen Xers or baby boomers. The fucking, the uh, younger voters have a more progressive attitude on climate change, marijuana legalization, paid parental leave, and other social uh, socialized programs. Second, third to the last paragraph. A few pages of this shit, and he finally gets to the fucking point. Holy shit, that is one of the worst fucking... Wow. That was a thing. Holy shit, that was a thing. It's been a while since I've seen something so poorly constructed as that. I mean, that's HuffPo in a nutshell. <laughs> Frackle, yeah, I don't read Huffington Post. So, I mean, occasionally though, an article will come across my desk, but yeah. Oh, 
Oh, you want to see something fucking amazing? Here, this is fucking amazing. Let's look. Let's look at something really, really cool. This is the most detailed model of a human cell made to date. This utilizes X-ray. Um. Uh. Fuck it. Um. X-ray. Oh God, hang on, I can do this. Um, X-ray, nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, um, microscopy, uh, cryoelectronic microscopy, um, as well as any as a few other data sets. Um, it is assembled in. Hang on, I'll pull the data on this one. Um, this is a cellular landscape cross section of a eukaryotic cell by Evan Ingersoll and Gail, uh, Gail uh, McGill. It uses uh, Digizyme's molecular Maya custom software, Autodesk Maya, and Foundry Moto used to import, model, rig, and populate and render all structural data sets that were derived from X ray, NMR, and uh, cryoelectric micros microscopy. This is the most complete model of a human cell that has ever been assembled. And you can actually go to their website and you can literally highlight each section and find out what it is. And then you can cross-reference and look up what that is about. It is, yeah, it is badass. It is one of the coolest fucking things I've seen in a long fucking time. Here's the link. You're looking at a eukaryotic cell of a human being. Um, Jack. And you can even select it's where protein folding, ha how protein and where protein folding happens. Dude, this is. <sighs> so insanely beautiful. The amount of work that went into this. Yep, info. I put the link in chat if you want it. Mossy. As much as I love having you here, Mossy, do you need to be practicing your monologue and or getting sleep, Mossy? <laughs> Info busted. Um... Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's. Um, I'm practicing on the bus. I set out my stuff so I can sleep late. I got it, I promise. Okay, Mossy. All right. Um, so. 
the Catholic, uh, the, okay, so the C- Corporation of Catholic Entities Party to the Indian Residential School Settlement, or CCEPIRSS, right, um, is a Catholic church charity that was set up specifically to pay residential school survivors. All right. It was set up after a 2015 court settlement. Well, um, a few uh, a few um, investigative journalists got their hands on their financial records. They've spent six point four six million dollars so far on administrative costs and expenses. The uh, settlement was twenty four point two million dollars. So so far. They've spent twenty six percent of the settlement amount on themselves. Charities. Yeah, they, they, they agreed to a $24.2 million settlement. Yeah, it's interesting info. Shouldn't the survivor? No, no. Um, the, they allowed them to set up, via the settlement agreement, a charity organization to distribute the funds. And the Catholics were allowed to be in charge of that charity organization. Of the $24.2 million agreed upon settlement, 18.6 got distributed with 6.46 going right back into the church. Or affiliates of the church. <laughs> Patronum. Charities are so much more efficient than the government. They should be responsible for all aid. Yep. Bob, Bob, like, this makes sense, I'm sure. Um, yeah. The, this is, this is some of the best part. So this is, this is some of the best part, right? The, f- some of the funds were actually returned directly to Catholic organizations, given that, quote, the Catholic Church did not meet its settlement obligations to indigenous communities. Therefore, the money was returned to the church rather than to the survivors. Figure it out for yourself. Oh, well, we 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 couldn't um we couldn't distribute all the money to the uh to the survivors, so we took the money back. What now? How'd that... How'd that work? Yeah, funds, surplus funds were returned returned on a pro rata basis. Uh, I, I just, I love it. You know, 26% of the funds allocated to be distributed to survivors of... Um, Catholic genocide of indigenous cultures and uh, was fucking just folded right back into the church. Couldn't find the victim, so mine now. Uh, Rev, in the quiet words of the Virgin Mary, come again? Um, Rev, five months, look at that. Fucking thank you, Rev. Like, I don't even, 
I feel like I don't want you to. You're in charge of your own finances, Rev, but there's better things you can do with that money. Thank you, though. And did y'all see this shit? Uh, I loved I loved premarital's uh, take on this one. Hang on. Premarital. Yeah, it's real. Public, it's real. Um, premarital took one look at this and said, Vic "Victorian England has entered the chat." Or it was, I'm sorry, Victorian England liked that, I think was the exact one. <laughs> Can I get a uh, child McLabor? <laughs> Um. Yeah, public we are. We actually are. Um. Joey, Jesus Christ, that's real. No, it is real. Like that's not a mock up. That's not Photoshop. That should be real, yo. Here, I'll I'll get it even closer so you can fucking. <laughs> like this shit. This shit is real. Uh, do you want coal dust with that? So, who wants to, who wants to, okay, so. I don't know why I'm platforming this idiot, but I'm sorry. I, I put this on, I put this on the Discord server. And if I have to fucking know about it, y'all have to know about it, right? This is this is my guiding principle at this point. Duly noted, Cassidy. There is no legitimate reason for a non-Jewish person to be against the anti-imperialist Taliban. The Taliban is bringing freedom to the people of Afghanistan after 20 years of Western imperialist depression. Afghans against the Taliban have no idea what they're talking about. This is your brain on tanky. Okay? This is what this is what happens. Okay, you know that shit about like meth not even once? Tanky, not even once. This is this this is what this is what tanky does to your brain. Oh yeah, totally me Ted. Um fun fact the Taliban officials um, who are the talking, uh, the, the mouthpieces for the Taliban right now in Afghanistan have told women to stay inside as um, the Taliban uh, fighters have not been trained to respect women. All right. So, yeah, yeah, totally more progressive. Stay inside, though, ladies, because the, the guys with the AK-47s or the M4s now that we left them there for them, um, the guys walking around with the guns in the streets right now, yeah, they'll rape you because we didn't teach them not to rape you. Woo! Progressive Taliban! Anyway... The Taliban is the best anti-imperialist 12th century theocracy with modern weaponry that has existed in the last 800 years. Um, see, here's the thing, Gessie. That ideology goes elsewhere. 
And if I showed you photos of what that ideology has done, because I had to do this on the fucking Discord server uh, yesterday, if we start rolling out photos of what tanky brain looks like in reality, because it does exist in places offline, despite what you may think. And if I show you photos of what it looks like, it looks like gay dudes fucking splattered on the ground. All right. It looks like a genocide. It looks like fucking people starved to death. It looks like mass graves. So you know what? Miss me with that fucking shit. Oh, they're mostly just an online problem. They don't actually exist. You know what? I'm an anarchist. I know my history with tankies. I know my fucking history with authoritarian centralizing communists. I know what it looks like. It looks like a fucking artillery shell to the anarchist club in Moscow. It looks like fucking people rounded up and executed in the forests around Kronstadt. It looks like fucking millions of people starving to death. It looks like children executed in the streets. So you know what? Miss me with that fucking apologist shit. Yeah, it looks like Pinochet throwing fucking people out of helicopters. It looks like fucking Pol Pot rounding up anybody with glasses or who, or who speaks multiple languages. Sit down, fucking know your role. I don't tolerate that genocide apology as shit. They're not. That's the thing. And that's your mistake. Is it, oh, they're mostly terminally online nerds. No, they aren't. They aren't. That's the fucking thing. This shit exists. It's real. And it gets people killed. Even today. And that shit comes back real fast. Just like right-wing nationalism. Just like fucking theocracies. Just like all this other shit. If you don't keep your fucking foot on it. Before you know it, they're back and people are dying. Exchange thought it's the never ending story. It is. It is. You got to keep your fucking eye on this shit. Because if you don't, if you give them that inch, hey, uh, hey, illusion. If you give them that inch, shit gets real, real fast. As, as I always like to point out to people, there was a day when the French public went to sleep. And they woke up with German tanks in their streets. Sometimes, world-changing change can happen in hours. Just like that. You went to sleep in Paris, and now you, went, uh, you woke up in Germany. Shit gets real, real fast sometimes. Do I need there to be guessing? Because I'm an anarchist. I don't give a shit about your geopolitical borders. I care about oppression on a global scale. I, about, I care about coercion on a global scale. An injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere as far as I'm concerned and always will be. I gotta worry about Vietnam. I gotta worry about Korea. I gotta worry about China. I gotta worry about fucking Pakistan. I gotta worry about Uzbekistan. Right? I'm ca I, can I concern myself with humanity and the planet Earth. This weird fucking biological spaceship that we're all taking a ride on. Because your imaginary lines don't really matter to me. You feel me? Hey, Psychotic Cock. I love your name, Psychotic. I love your fucking name. Um, 
Yeah. I've probably said that every time you've come in to Psychotic Cock. Every time you fucking say something, I'm probably like, I love your fucking name. Either way. Five squares in a row is bingo. Correct. Mossy. Feel free to copy and uh, feel free to fucking uh, take a screenshot and upload it to the Discord server and declare yourself a winner um, if you want. I really do, do look tired today, though. I'm fucking, dude. It takes a lot out of you. I'm in a lot of fucking pain right now. <laughs> I'm in a lot of fucking pain right now. Until they're not. Guessy, I can point you to a fucking tanky streamer who's got like 1,400 subs. Uh, yeah, illusion, exclamation, bingo. Um, beastical, yep. Um, yeah, no, infra. Infra. Yeah, because Vosh is a fucking tanky. Come on. For the ones that are memeing, I forgive you. For the ones who are serious and suggested Vosh for that, the fuck is wrong with you? Um... That's because my feed is superior. <laughs> Yogi. Um, yeah, I don't understand all the weird Vosh hate, but whatever. Aw, sweet. Um... Nah, Patronum, you really don't. You really don't. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I could... Oh, first, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. This video made the rounds again. And, um... Language, linguistics, pronunciations. Um... I always love that sort of stuff. Jesus, goddamn Christ, right? There we go. Premarital. Premarital. Yep, premarital got it before I even fucking went to it. I love that video. I love that video, premarital. It's so amazing. I say, bottom accents say this phrase out loud. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. Hold on, my. Earn, earn. <laughs> Aaron earn and I earn earn. Damn, what the fuck? We really talk like that? I love that moment of realization he has. Like, what the fuck? We really talk like that? He it truly has that a moment of awareness. Aaron earn and I earn earn. Damn, what the fuck? We really talk like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Earn, 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 earn. Let me see it. Iron, iron, the iron, iron. What? Iron, iron, the iron, iron. No. Aaron earned an iron, iron. Iron, 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 iron. No, dummy, no, dummy. Iron, iron, and iron, iron. Yo, what's the iron? Iron, iron. 
It's not that, dummy. It's Aaron. It's iron earned and iron earned, dummy. Aaron earned and iron earned. Earn, earn, and iron, earn. Earn, earn, and iron, earn. Fuck it. Iron, 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 iron. Fuck Aaron. Fuck Aaron. I love that video. Every time it makes the rounds again, it just. I love it. I love it. Iron, 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 earn. Fucking Baltimore accent. Iron, 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 and earn. It's like, Jesus Christ, we really talk like that? Yeah, y'all do. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I adore that Baltimore accent for that for that very reason. Iron, 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 iron. And, and the, his, 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 that moment of realization that he has, that, that fucking moment that, that he, tr we really talk like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Um... Weird, uh, words sound weird as fuck the more you say them. Um, that's called semantic satiation, uh, yogi. It happens with written as well as spoken. Um, there, th there's a technical term. It's called semantic satiation. Um, when you write a word so many times and it stops, you're like, am I spelling that correctly? Is it, it the word stops looking correctly or you say it so many times? You, you're like, wait. The word doesn't even sound correct in my head anymore. Yeah, that's called semantic satiation. Um. Demon Mama has had some really stupid um, Afghanistan takes, from what I've been I've been told. Though, I'm I'm not look I'm not anywhere involved in whatever this fucking conversation is, but I just saw their name, and yeah, some people have passed on some of their takes. Demon Mama apparently, it's what I've been told. I mean, this is what I've been told. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know whether she's a holodomer or denier. If she is, or if they are, I don't know their pronouns. Um, but from what I've been in, uh, what's been passed on to me, Demon Mama um, did a, a, a take on, Af on, on Afghanistan saying Afghanistan in the 90s was more progressive or at least comparable to the U.S., Really? Afghanistan in the 90s was as progressive as the US. All right. Jimmy Long, you're just wrong. You're just wrong. Um, sorry. We've discussed this at length on the Discord server. I can tell you the fucking imam that's responsible for creating the Talib in 1992's name. I can do the Afghanistan history with you. Right? Like, I can do this. No. That's just wrong. It's wrong. And as a gay man who lived through the 90s in the U.S. Um, and is familiar with how uh, the Islamic factions, uh, both Sunni and Shia, um, and the Talib, which is the Taliban, uh, in Afghanistan operate and treat and behave with gay males, um, 
no you're just that just no just no just no just miss me with that shit it ain't gonna work anyway um yeah it, it's it, like look this is you know i have it on um so you know um yeah i don't i don't know anything about demon mama I don't, I don't know anything about them. I, I just, uh, I was <clears throat> contacted by other streamers because I happen to have a little bit of knowledge in and around that area. I've looked into it with some decent veracity. Um, and they wanted my opinion on that comparison. And I was like, wait, who said what? No. That's just patently false. Um, oh, plooped. You're literally a meme. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me get you the meme. That's you right there, plooped. We li there's literally somebody made a famous meme. Just about you. Because you're not allowed to participate, be encapsulated, or have any relation to a societal uh, a societal set of values and then advocate for change or improvement. You would be sitting in neo uh, in you would be sitting in feudalistic Europe going, well, we can't have constitutional monarchies because you're a, uh, because you're a peasant under feudalism and you enjoy its protections. You're a fucking meme. It's sad, it's pathetic, it's intellectually devoid, and quite frankly, the fact that you lack that much vision makes me pity you more than anything else. Uh, let me add it as a bingo square. Yeah, you're right. It should be one. It doesn't happen that often, but it happens enough that it should be a bingo square. You're right. Let me edit it. Um, but you live in a society. Yeah, we're just gonna do the you live in a uh, you, uh, you live in a society meme. We'll just do that. All right, um, your bingo cards won't automatically update, but if you do a new one, there's a chance it'll roll it out. Of course you do, sweetheart. Chances are it's a little bit of self-hate. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, monkey. Y'all are moving too fast. <sighs> Casualty. Casualty of war. Casualty of war. There we go. Um, plooped, I'd keep you around. Plooped, I would keep you around, but it's TOS. It puts my channel at risk if I don't ban you. So I have to ban you. I would, I would much rather keep you around and have fun with you. I would, I would torture you. I would have all sorts of fun with you, but Twitch TOS is what it is. Yeah. I hope he's still here. Like, you know it's a he. You know it's a he. It's always a fucking he. Um, I hope you're still here, Plooped. I really do. Um, yeah. Plooped? I'm wearing a skirt. Just FYI. I'm wearing a skirt right now. I wear a skirt almost every day. I No, actually, you know what? I wear a skirt literally every day now. I haven't worn... Yeah. Dude. I'm telling you. Superior technology. Um... <laughs> Premarital. 
he's bitchy because he does nonsense. He's bitchy because he doesn't understand why he's horny. Oh, he understands. That's the problem. <laughs> Joey, no pockets. No pockets. Um... I'm okay. I'm okay with the no pockets thing. Um, yeah, I, I've been getting by without them just fine. It actually causes you to like think about what you're carrying too, because you can't just dump everything in your fucking pockets. So it makes you actually think about your EDC everyday carry. Um, yeah, like I, uh, what I'll do is, um, Jack. Uh, my phone just goes into the waistband and my ID and insurance card go in the other side, like, or credit card or whatever. They just, I just right into the waistband, like against my skin and the waistband's tight enough. It just holds everything there. That's how I carry that stuff. Um, car keys in hand or in the waistband too. I'm good. It works. Um, yeah, I'm not wearing a fanny pack. Uh, Aka, I, I haven't, I haven't used a wallet. Um, I haven't used a wallet in maybe a decade, maybe a decade. <laughs> yeah, I can go like right back there. There's a wallet in there. There's, there's a wallet in there, but it's empty. It's just been sitting in a drawer for fucking ages. Ninety one, my high school theater group held a national skirt day event. Every guy in drama club wore a skirt slash kilt. I borrowed my sister's plaid skirt. It was so, uh, it was so interesting. Very breezy, dude. Zomo, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Um, I do have. Glazy, I don't get to play the music I'd want to play. If I played my playlist, it'd be a bit different. Um, Meat Toad, um, sizing usually just works on waist size. Um, yeah. See, um... This is, um, yeah, this is a medium. <laughs> yeah, so if, if I have a need to, like, carry extra shit, I can carry extra shit. Premarital. For anyone lacking the tittage, between your phone case and the phone is a good place to store a credit card or a few bills. Uh, Rumble?
Uh, let me try and get you something here. Uh, Mossy, I do have a P.O. box. Um, do you want it, Mossy? Um, let's see, who would... Good on you, Weezer. I don't know who Armchair Historian is, um, so I have no thoughts on him. All right, well, give me one sec, Mossy. Um, Mossy, check your whispers on Twitch. P.O. Box sent. Um, Somebody, oh, it was Rumble. Um, Jesus Christ. Rumble, uh, basically Afghanistan, it, Afghan history stretches into prehistory. It's a whole fucking thing. It's a deep dive unto itself. It's, it's multiple deep dives unto itself. But what you need to sort of understand is that, um, I'll just read you what I wrote one day, right? This is just a short encapsulation what you sort of like context for what we're discussing now surrounding afghanistan this is sort of what you need to know um there's basically a dozen ethnic tribes at play with hundreds of fiefdoms and just as many warlords for all intents and purposes a uh, history dating back to actual prehistory a country that is quite literally functionally illiterate levels of unfathomable corruption uh, cultural norms that are just holy shit, as you just referenced the uh, Bakabazi uh, fucking dancing boy shit. A tradition of violent Islamic conquest, and none of that mentions any of the external influences such as Britain, Russia, Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the US, all of whom have tried to manipulate the region in one way or another for their own gains. And all of that doesn't begin to scratch the sur surface of the Talib or student. Um, yes, the root word for Taliban is Talib, which means student. Um, they're hardcore religious fundamentalists who believe that all are subject to Islamic law, whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim alike. Um, they oppose the U.S. Situ situationally in this instance, but they oppose everyone situationally um, that are not adherent to the teachings put forth by Imam Mullah Omar, um, who then repackaged a few times there over. Um, this was done in 1992, by the way. If you're thinking like, oh, uh, Imam Mullah Omar must be from, you know, the before times, right? No, it's 1992. He's a contemporary of many of us. They seek complete elimination of any behavior they see uh, they perceive as vice, and they see the only acceptable form of governance as one of Islamic or Sharia law, as it was perfection handed down from God upon uh, to Muhammad. Their right wing zealots. Uh, religious zealots who seek the murder of homosexuals and trans people while simultaneously normalizing some pedophilic behavior, the enslavement of women, the elimination of any teachings that don't align with uh, their interpretation of the Quran, including other Muslim factions, and a return to what amounts to second century AD societal ideals. This is just the context for the discussion. Yeah, it, it's, it's a whole fucking thing. And they, um, and you have to also understand that while the t Taliban basically offers the worst humanity has to offer, um, they're, they're illiterate 
inbred, brainwashed foot soldiers for the most part. They're they're the definition of uh, victim of circumstance, right? So we have to take this like into account. And so it, it, it is like how much how much progressivism would you have expected from a European peasant who had been roped into the Crusades? That's sort of what you're looking at. So. Uh, no, Rumble. I have nothing written up in detail. No. Yeah, shrimps. Um, there's no. I'm of the opinion: get everybody out that you can get out that needs to be get gotten out, and fucking just cordon the area off. Just, just don't, don't go there. Just don't go there. Let let China figure out for themselves why it's called the you know the. The ruin of empires. And just leave it alone. Um, my parents don't value me based on whether I'm adorable or not. Um, I have no idea what they will do, Aost, but chances are it will be something violent. So, yet yeah, see, Raphael. Here's my here's my commentary on that. You have to believe in debt to be debt trapped. They don't believe in it. They'll take China. They'll take China's resources and money, and they'll fucking run. Let's be like, yeah, thanks, whatever. Well, there's there's rebels in the area that are that are fighting us. Won't you do anything about it? No. They'll secretly arm those rebels too. Like they don't give a shit. Like you have to believe in debt and to believe in the debt trap for for it to work. The Taliban will be like, yeah, whatever. Thanks thanks for the money. <laughs> like they don't give a shit. It it could get interesting. China is going to have to enforce their debt trap. Which is where it will get interesting. Uh, Puka, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, fucking Dugan. I swear to God. Rumble, fucking Dugan. That dude is, that dude is, God, he is a thorn in so many sides. That is true, Joey. That is true. For the most part, though, I, I worry about people like, you know, the female robotics team out of Afghanistan and schoolgirls who are just trying to get a basic education and now, like, stay the fuck inside. You may get raped or beaten for trying to go to school sort of shit. Like, that, those are the ones that I feel bad for. And LGBT, um, you know, any, any of the LGBT... If you're gay, like, I'd say trans, but... Is anybody really trying to be trans in Afghanistan? Honestly, like, let's be real. Let's be real, right? Like it, it's, I think, I think most people who may have that inclination who are trans, like, are they like, I'm going to dress as a woman. Like I'm nobody's trying to pull that shit, right? Like I'm sure some are, but let's be honest with ourselves. Right, it's bad enough just trying to be gay in that part of the world. Trying to be trans, holy fuck! Mm. 
Um, yeah. I can only imagine trying. <laughs> One of these days you'll learn, Sven. One of these days you'll learn. Um... Duly noted. Um, duly noted, Rumble. Um, yes, me toad. Um, the any Hindus and Sikhs in the region, though, have been invited by India to get the fuck out. India will welcome them. India has opened their doors to any Hindus and Sikhs that want to evac. So at least there's that in the region. Yeah, uh, totes aw uh, ox, uh, by, by totes awkward, do you mean, uh, murder in the street, Gemma? <laughs> like, public execution and beheading territory? Because that's what, uh, you would, you would end up with. Hey, ninja. Um, yep, me toad, it's, dude, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. But there's no fixing it. I mean, Carpe, like, the Afghans aren't even Afghans. They identify with ethnic groups, right? It's tribal and ethnic identification. They don't even identify as Afghans. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, Gemma, I know. Um... Men can't wear silk and gold because that makes them gay slash women. Yeah, it's, it's, dude, it's, we, we were just talking about some of the historical context surrounding Afghanistan and the fact that you're looking at like 12 ethnic groups and, um, hundreds of tribes and it just, there's no internal identity. It is sort of, do you believe what I believe? Do you believe in the same fairy tales I believe in? And then under that, do you belong to the same tribe or ethnic group that I belong to? And then under that is, you know, sort of regional identification. But they don't have, they have no country uh, country identity that we normally would be like, you know, oh, you're British or you're American. They don't have that. The Afghan identity doesn't exist. Uh, the last time... Yeah, oh yeah, very hyper sectarian. Um, the last time that I can point to like a, a sort of unified um, Afghan identity would be like under Indo-Greco rule, right? We're talking 500 AD and shit like that. It just doesn't exist, and that's that's part of the factor that like the wet like empires have trouble dealing with that because we have empires have a unified identity, right? Like even doesn't matter who you're talking about saudi arabia fucking china the u.s russia britain you know it doesn't really matter who you're talking about they we have a unified identity they don't have that and when you're trying to deal with them yeah sure oh yeah 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 i'm in charge of this area i'll cut a deal with you and then you're like well i thought you were in charge of this area well i mean you know i'm in charge of my tribe but that other tribe down the road they're doing their own thing you got to go cut a deal with them too now it's very difficult to manage that um it's, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, you mean the Brits and French did a shitty job drawing borders on maps? No, I know, right? Um, I mean. Becca, I understand your sentiment, but I want Trudeau to answer for his father. Are you visiting the sins of the father upon the son? Like, that's not even, 
Even biblically, they don't do that shit. Just saying. It's not a good look. Uh, they, yeah, they've got a pile of minerals. A trillion dollars worth of a pile of minerals. We want it. China wants it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants that pile of minerals. Oh, it's far more than just lithium. Zoma. Oh. We went through the list one day. Yeah, but that's not how you worded it initially. Um... So we got the oil and gas, we've got gemstones, we've got uh, the rare earths, which do include lithium, um, but let me try and get a broken down list of that. Copper, huge copper reserves, huge copper reserves. Um, copper, gold, oil, natural ga gas, uranium, bauxite, coal, iron ore, rare earths, lithium, chromium, lead, zinc, gemstones, talc, sulfur, tra uh, travertine, gypsum, and marble. That's just some of them. Right, and the rare earths break down even further. They're sitting on a trillion dollars worth of raw resources, and we're like, mm. <laughs> chainsaw. Uh, they can keep that stuff though. We're fine with that. It's our present to them. You're welcome. All right, Primeral, what you got? Let me hear it. Oh, hey, Aussies. I got this updated as of four hours ago. <sighs> Dirty. Um, okay, so the former Australian, hey, skeptic, the former Australian Special op uh, Operations Intelligence Officer, Captain Louise, the key witness to the whistleblower case of uh, the Australian Special Forces massacre of farmers in Afghanistan, um, had a bomb planted outside her house. They've they've moved her into they they've immediately ro relocated her and her family. Um. Yeah. Uh, whistleblower for uh, a, war, a series of war crimes committed by spec ops uh, by Australian special operations carpe um, the whistleblower fucking who's a former intelligence officer special operations intelligence officer um, basically blew the whistle on spec ops murdering a bunch of farmers in Afghanistan um, and so yeah this earlier this morning um, a bomb was planted outside her house um and so, yeah, they've they've put her and her family into witness relocation. Uh, they disappeared her as fast as possible. Better asked. <clears throat> Yeah.
yeah, Mr. Mac, let's let's not. Yes, yes, that's that's true. That's true. They also are horrible, horrible people. So, like you know, murdering gay people and raping women in the streets and fucking oppressing and beating young girls who want to like educate themselves. But hey, yeah, you, you're right. They shut down the opium trade to a certain extent. I mean, if that's the nuance you want to add to the conversation, by all means. Um, the Sacklers are sad. Dude, fuck the Sacklers. Jesus Christ, can we just take all of their shit and, like, lock them on an island somewhere? Jesus Christ, the fucking Sacklers. Every time. Every time I see that name, Carpe. Every time I fucking see that name. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Hitler got rid of unemployment. I know, right? Shrimp's like, it's like, look, I mean, yeah, sure. That's if that's the nuance you want to. I don't trust billionaires on islands. Well, serious. They wouldn't be billionaires when I put them on the island. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, that the Sacklers bring out like the only authoritarian tendencies I have. The Sacklers. The Sacklers have been doing this for fucking 80 years. Like, you have no fucking idea. Like, most people, if you even know who the Sacklers are, they're behind Purdue Pharmaceuticals, who, who are behind OxyContin. But this isn't the first time they've done this. This is not the first time they've done this. The Sacklers created direct-to-physician propaganda advertising to convince physicians to prescribe off-label Valium for all sorts of non, uh, non-psychological purposes. Back pains, neck pain. Hey, Valium, you can prescribe Valium for this. This was done in the 1940s by Arthur Sackler, who literally created direct to uh, physician uh, advertising, a fucking bi-weekly periodical pumping bullshit information into directly to the doctors to create the first hundred million dollar pharmaceutical drug, right? Valium. They, they fucking, they've been doing this for 80 goddamn years, people. This family, mmm, they drive me up a fucking wall. Yeah, no, Ninja, like, straight up triggered. The Sacklers were, will trigger me. Like, th- how many generations of shit do we have to put up with from this family? They've created multiple pharmaceutical problems in this country. They created the opioid, uh, opioid epidemic. Straight up created it. Profited to the tune of 16 plus billion dollars. Excuse me? How many people died? How many fucking people died? How many people died? How many people fucking died? They made 16 plus billion dollars off of that. Okay? Like, at what point does this become self-defense? Right? Like, oh, the anarchy, like, you know, oh, the fucking, yeah, 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 I'm a fucking anarchist. At what point does this become self-defense? For real. Their actions directly caused, not contributed to, caused the opioid epidemic. Thousands and thousands of people died because of that. And they profited to the tune of $16 billion. If they were fucking brown and sitting in Juarez, we'd call them a drug cartel. And we'd fucking send dudes with a- uh, with M4s and MP5s after them. For real. I don't understand the distinction. Oh, that's right. They're fucking white people from North America. (laughs) 
Fuck the Sacklers. Yeah, they piss me off. They do. <laughs> yeah, they trigger me. For real. <clears throat> yeah, that's why it's, we should just confiscate literally everything attached to that family, any trusts, any corporations, fucking nationalize, confiscate, take it all, and put that fucking family on a goddamn island and just lock them there because you can't trust them. <clears throat> like I said, 80 years, multiple generations doing the same gig. Oh, yeah, Carpe, I know that one. Yeah, the way to shit. And we're not, if we don't get eternal immunity, if we don't get immunity in perpetuity, then we won't pay the settlement. Bitch, what? So you're in default? Take their shit. Take their shit. Take their shit. Take their shit. Mossy, good luck with your monologue. Good luck with your rest. I hope it. Go I hope the the monologue goes as well as it can. Mossy, good luck. Good luck getting those tears going, Mossy. Don't cry too much. Just if you can get the one tear going, Mossy. If you could just well it up and get that one tear to fall. That's what you're shooting for, I think, with that monologue, Mossy. Immunity in perpetuity would be a dope rap lyric. That's fair. Um, good luck, Mossy. Um, yeah, I, I never went in for the break a leg fucking mythos, but break a leg, Mossy. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they should all be fucking locked up. And including, look, including the fucking, dude, the children, the fucking ones who are just living off the ill-gotten gains, knowing that it's blood money, too. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Society and the individual both have the right to self-defense. This is an anarchistic principle. If there is somebody in an anarchist society that is literally murdering dozens of the town members... Both the individual and society have the right to protect themselves from that person. The Sackler family has directly caused and contributed to the deaths of thousands of people, the suffering of tens of thousands of people, and the degradation of the healthcare system of this nation. They deserve to be dealt with in some way, shape, or form. It's not a call for violence. It's not a fucking... It's just handle this shit already. This family has been operating in bad faith since the 1940s, for fuck's sake. Do something about it. Nice, Zelmo. Nice. Interesting. That's fucking thing. Um, no, nonsense. I haven't seen that clip, actually. Hey, it's, it's something, Patronum. It's something. Mortimer Sackler, Samantha Sophia Sackler Hunt, Eileen Sackler Lefcourt. Uh, I couldn't come up with better names if I had to write a novel about an e evil rich family. No, premarital. They are they're the definition. They're like they're walking fucking uh, stereotypes of like evil white rich people. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, Tina Tangent, um, the Sackler family, S-A-C-K-L-E-R, um, they're behind Purdue Pharmaceuticals. They're literally responsible for the opioid crisis in America. 
no exaggeration, not hyperbole. They are directly responsible. And the, it, this goes back decades and decades and decades before per, before any of this shit. Yeah, they're they're responsible for creating direct to for, uh, direct to physician um, marketing. Um, they're literally yeah. This family is behind so much ill in this country. It's fucking ridiculous. It's a Sackler family. Feel free to look them up. Um. All right, let me see. Let me see this. What's really going on? Why don't you? Okay. I seen her okay. Saturday, last Saturday. She, she's been like saying all this stuff to me. But she's like, I'm gonna break your legs and all this stuff. Break a leg is is a is a is something that somebody says to wish you good luck. Break a leg. How about I break your leg? Break a leg, guys. Right. What did you say to me? I said break a leg, guys. I don't want to break a leg. I'm gonna get the part. That's what I'm gonna do. What am I looking at? Okay. What 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 dumbass show was that from? So, somebody tell me what I just had to look at. Ah, uh, yeah, Cricks, I'll I'll get you that. Um, give me one sec. I'll get it for you right now. Um, link, link in chat, Cricks. Link in chat. Reality TV type stuff. Yo, well, I know that. She got fame on Flava Flav's Love Search. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Her name is New York. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, you're welcome. Hey, I do it to you guys all the time. If I have to know this shit exists, you have to know this shit exists. I get it. I get it. Um, oh, alerts aren't popping. I just noticed that. Um, thank you for the follow, though, Tina. Um, let, me, let me check something here really quickly. Uh, alert box. Let me just do a quick test here. Test, follow. Well, we'll see if they pop now. Flavor Flav! Um, there! See, I just had to kick it in the ass a little bit. Thank you for the follow again, Tina. Um, Yeah, Raphael, it's true. I saw Flav in the uh, Las Vegas airport once. Had some luggage and some plastic grocery bags. <laughs> uh, curious about uh, if curious about that theater. Here's a pic of the hangar door open. It's bigger than it looks. Yeah, give me a give me a shot from the stage. It's a nice outdoor theater though. I like it. Oh, okay, there's a back shot so I can see it. I'd love to see what back of the house looks like. It looks like it has some decent depth to it. Rock on, Zemo. Tiffany New York Pollard. All right. Um, 
You're welcome, Crix. Uh, I mean, skeptic. They're sitting on no less than a, t a, uh, a trillion dollars worth of mineral resources. Why do you think the Chinese government is strategically recognizing the Taliban the government? They want that shit. Oil, gas, rare earth metals, gold, silver, copper, lithium. Hangar door closes has become, uh, and it becomes an indoor winter black box stage. Interesting. That's an interesting. Where is this? Where was I looking at this? Bolingbrook, Illinois. Fascinating. All right, cool. Elon needs all the rare earth. Still green though. Shh. Yeah, all right. I just. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you want to, you want to, here, you want to see something rage inducing? I don't know if this will induce your rage. Here, we'll see. Okay, Gab Gabrielle Peterson, um, whoever you are, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I'm just going to put that out right there now. Want to work nine to five? Good luck building a, a career. Our careers are a part of our lives and try as we might. We can't always leave work at the uh, office. Any more than that, we can leave home at home. I recently fired my first ever direct report. Although he was low energy, low energy, uninspired and an awful speller, what ultimately led him to the axe was his insistence on boundaries. He would come into the office at nine every morning, leave at five and be inaccessible anytime before and after. Regardless of deadlines or passion projects, your passion project, Gabrielle, not his, his work day was determined not by his work, but by his hours. So she fired him. Whoever you are, Gabriel, Gabrielle Peterson, wherever you may be, I hope you stub your toe today. Go fuck yourself. Hey, Niall. Premarital, I have to pull it. I have to pull it. I have to pull it. Premarital, I love it. Um, yeah, Yogi, I wasn't going to get into her shit grammar. But yeah, if you wanted to be a real fucking, if you want to be persnickety about it. Yeah, oh yeah. She wants to shit on his spelling and grammar. It's like, bitch, you got issues too. Oh, and this is fucking brilliant. Capitalism for the win, y'all. We're not even we're not even gonna watch this. We're just we're not gonna watch this. Seniors step in to fill missing shifts. Faced with a shortage of workers, a small army of seniors in Seychelles, Seychelles is um, volunteering to cover shifts at restaurants and other small businesses rather than see them close their doors because of lack of workers. You fucking scab, dumbass boomers. Holy fuck. Fucking shit, you dumb fucks. I just... This is the first time in... M multiple generations that um, many American workers 
have had any sort of leverage in employment opportunities. This is the first time that the scales have tipped in the favor of labor for many of our lives, right? And these shitbag boomer scumbag scabs are undermining it for free. You want to know what a class trader looks like? Gonna open a sweatshop for boomers. Be right back. Dude, nonsense. You might as fucking well. Hey, my ass is home. I did my time and had one guy trying to get me to work for him. Krusty, you're one of the good ones and we know it. I got nothing but love for you, Krusty. When we talk shit about boomers, we ain't talking about you. We're talking about those fucking morons who are doing free labor and undermining the cause. Fucking... <laughs> Kids dropped him off there uh, instead of a nursing home. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Like, I mean, oh God, I could get in trouble for drawing this comparison. Me, Yogi, I did because I fucking downloaded that song because it wasn't EDM. I fucking deleted it. Um,. I'm going to do it. 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 Even during the antebellum, like, South, there were slaves who defended their masters against other slaves. It, you know, we, we have records of that. It, it wasn't the predominant thing, but it happened. It happened. It happened. We have records of slaves who would defend their masters even when slavery was removed from their ability. It's, uh, it's saying things like, you know, writing uh, or um, um, dictating letters um, for them, it's, it telling, you know, how well their master treated them and how good they had it under their their care, care and shit like that. Right. Like this is not unique. This is this is a hum a pattern of human behavior that we've seen before. People who are literally shat upon by a system, people who are indentured servants for the most part, and they don't know what to do with their fucking time. We know these fucking people. Oh, if I don't if I retired, I'd drop dead. Why? Your life is so bereft of meaning and passion that without a fucking boss and a workplace holding you to a rigid schedule, you literally lose all reason to live. Holy shit, man. How fucking... This is... Dude. How fucked are you in the head? It's... Oh, yeah. Forget economic Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. It's just straight Stockholm Syndrome. I, I, holy shit. Yeah. Systemic Stockholm syndrome. That's, <laughs> I go with that one. Like this is this imagine, imagine. And you know, you know that conversation, right? You know that conversation. Imagine being in that fucking back of the house with those douchebags, just fucking wanking themselves off. Fucking masturbatory conversation about how this generation is so fucking lazy. These snowflakes fucking, oh, we were fucking, we didn't complain back when blah, 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 blah. Imagine the conversation in the back of the house for that shit. Oh, God. Just the bootlicking bullshit that we'd be put, we you'd be listening to. Oh, um, I know someone's starting to retire and they're experiencing such dread, realizing they're not even a person, no passions, no hobbies, just serving. It's fucking depressing, dude. Get Nile, like it's, it's fucking. It's the saddest fucking shit to see. Like, oh, if I didn't keep working, I wouldn't have a reason to live. It's like, dude, you suck. You suck. You missed the entire point of life. You missed the entire point of life. Like, literally. It's the saddest fucking thing ever. And then they'll cry when they get COVID from working in a restaurant. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, Raphael, straight up. Um, is working going to fuck up their social security payments? No, Rev, not if they don't take payment. If they're not salaried, if they're just volunteering their time, doesn't fuck up anything. Doesn't any effect. All it fucks up is our labor negotiations as a generation. That's all it fucks up. You were made to retire after 45 years in the kitchen. Dude, Krusty, of course you were back at the house. I love you to death, man. I love you to death. Of course you were back at the house. I got nothing but love for back of the house people. Um. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Rev. My grandfather told me he'd never tried a drug or had a drop of alcohol in his life. I told him that sounded horrible, and I was very sorry for him. Yeah, talk about a miserable existence. Like, you've never gotten loaded, man? Ugh. <laughs> I love that check notes meme. I, I love that check notes meme, Niall. Fucking millennials are so entitled asking for fair wages. I don't do that sort of stuff, Trailhead. I don't do that sort of stuff. Mm. We'll see. We'll see when the votes are counted. Waiting is a movie. Waiting is a hell of a movie. I, 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 waiting is in my collection. It's a large collection of movies. Um, ways is I'm going to get the movie collection into the four digits. Um, but yeah. Somebody did enjoy the seventies to the two thousands. Um, oh, crusty. Yeah, it's shrimps. It's just fucking bitch behavior, right? It's like fucking basic bitch shit. Like, I don't even know what to fucking qualify it as. Slave. Slave mentality. Slave mentality. Like, it's it's terrifying. It's It feels like I'm being reductive to slavery. But it's the only thing that feels right is it's internalized it's servitude. Yeah, uh, you got to spell it right. Um, sleep. Um, himself, that's a fucking truth. My dad always said, if you could remember the sixties, you weren't really there. Dude, that's how I feel about the like 99 to about 2005. <laughs> it's like, um, what's up? <laughs> like, I don't, dude, I, I, I remember some of it, you know, I was sober for some of it, but I mean, right? Maybe not even 2005. Damn. 99, 98, 90, 1998 to maybe 2008, 2009. About that decade. Yeah. About 98 to 2008. I'd say like, it's a little hazy. It's a little hazy. Let's just put it that way. Um, the indentured mind, they're indentured to society. Yeah. Ah, uh, nice Acapulco gold. Jesus Christ, Krusty, you are old as shit. Um, love you, love you, man. Um, I'm, I'm catching up, man. I'm catching up. Um, do I have a link to what article? Shrimps. Um, the fucking. It's not an article like about the fucking restaurant workers. It's a fucking video. If that's what you're asking, shrimps. Um. Yeah, here. Link in chat. Link in chat. Um, ninja. Wow, Kai is old. Yeah, fucking ninja. <laughs> I think we're you're a little older than me, but we're basically the same fucking group. Um, you were fourteen. Fuck on. Um, sleepy, sleep easy. Give me a sec. I'll get it for you, sleep. I'll get it. All right. 
I'm going to even tag you, sleep. There is the link, sleep. Um, story, yeah, like 100% story. Gemma, 100%. 100% fucking percent. Those fuckers ain't vaccinated. If you're dumb enough to undermine labor negotiations and fucking literally jump into the back of the house for free, fucking work a, work a line in a restaurant for free, like, they're, that's, dude, they're bought and sold. They're bought and paid for by the system. Chances are they watch fucking whatever the Canadian equivalent of Fox News is. What y'all got Murdoch shit up there? You, you fucking what? Do, what do Canadians watch? What do Canadian boomer chuds watch? If it's the same, just let me know. sleep of course um the the line that you hear sleep um here let me let me actually pull it for you so you can hear live while i'm talking about this um so when you when the follow happens um sleep that is ukrainian Mother Anarchy loves her sons, okay? When a sub happens, Mother Anarchy is not for sale. So there you go. And raids are actually something else entirely. Um, yeah, raids are, uh, do I have a test raid? Um, so if you, I'll be surprised, you know, fucking, um, who knows, who knows what that is? Who knows what's the, uh, what that is? The solidary forever. Um, Is it from Bioshock? 100% Rev. Um, can I fucking, uh, can I say that I fucking love the Cossack aesthetic? Instead of CNN, we have CBC middle of the road stuff. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, Tina, it is, Chud is a cannibalistic human underground dweller. It's from a cheesy 80s movie, but it has been repackaged and repurposed um, for the internet era. It's basically just a fucking right wing, um, like conservative type online, usually. Steven Crowder, fucking, you know, fucking guy who quotes Jordan Peterson at you, Chud. Um,. Niall, can you repeat what you said earlier about banning new bot followers? Oh, oh, well, there's no, there's no explicit way to do it, Niall. But basically what you do is you just go into your settings really fast. You turn off your alerts and you change the settings for commenting on chat to followers that have been following you for 10 plus minutes. And that will prevent them from putting anything into chat as that, that sort of thing happens. Um, and also it prevents like from the, them from spamming up your uh, your stream. If that's what you're asking about. Um, hey, Christian. What's up, Watkins? Um... Fox 12 Poner, Trump 2024. Adorable. Um, 
Kanye West is illegally changing his name to Ye. Okay. Is Kanye off his meds again? That motherfucker. He needs to just stay on his fucking meds. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Hoss, Hoss 00314. Uh, there's, there seems to be a thing happening right now. Uh, with Hoss 00312 underscore Hoss 00312. Um. Hey, Gemma. Watkins. I respect it. Um. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to click that name. Where is that fucking person? Eh. I mean, it's fucking. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Fox 12 Poner. Why are you back? <laughs> it is, Watkins. It is. Um, yeah, why'd you come back, man? Wait, I got your chat log. <laughs> uh, ma, eh, n, d, uh. Amanda, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Um... Yes, uh, Yogi, um, it's FSE. Um, yeah, it's, it's Frank that lets you highlight. Um, BTZ may do it now as well, but yeah, um, FFC does that, um, for sure. Heard a take about hate raids, solidarity with everyone sharing the same sc screen for Twitch to do something. You probably already talked about the hate raids. This is just something we all got to deal with now. Sleep. I've been doing them for a fucking while. Um, y you have to... Um, my settings are... <sighs> fairly decent for dealing with that sort of stuff. Um, I've had a few of them. I've had a few of them. Um, and, I mean, I hate calling them hate raids because they're fucking bot swarms, right? Like, it, it, hate raid to me feels like a, a bad faith, uh, like a brigade, like a bad faith raid, which I've had as well. Um, but, yeah, um, bot swarms, the only... Um, oh, I'm sorry, Watkins, that sucks. Um... Do you really think? Do you, do you really think we're gonna fucking? You, dude, you need better bait than that. You're adorable. Um. So, I was listening to Co. Uh, Co Carnage. Um, I was watching Co the other day, yesterday, and somebody asked him about whether he was gonna participate in the day off, right? And he said no. He's been on. Um, he's been on Twitch. For years and years and years, right? He's he's I mean, literally Twitch pays him to be on Twitch. They contractually pay Co to stream on Twitch, right? Um, and in his opinion, he said, in my many years on Twitch now, he said I've seen a number of these campaigns come and go. He said, as near as I can tell, not being on Twitch doesn't do anything. He said it never actually affects change. This is Co speaking, not me. Um, he said, in his opinion, the campaigns that do the best for forcing change on Twitch are the ones that coordinate with people who are going to be on the air and then talk about the issue. So, basically, you need to make it a thing. You need to make it the issue. And the issue is, is that Twitch has an easily exploitable user account creation system. Um, that's the issue. The issue is, is that with a simple Python script that I could fucking mock up in less than an hour. All right. Um, you can spin up a fucking thousand accounts. No big, no big deal. Right? Um, so it is, it is that that is the problem. It's a technical problem. 
the, the hate stuff is just, it's like, look, you know, you can deal with that other ways. But when somebody can spin up a thousand accounts in a few minutes, that's a problem, right? So they need to close that hole if they want this problem to go away. That's it. It's that simple. User account creation needs to be a little more difficult. Now, to what extent they make that happen? Who knows? Oh, Gemma, I'm going to, I'm, we're, we're, we're taking a day. We're doing solidarity that day as well. Gemma, we're doing good movie night on the discord server. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll just take Wednesday off and we'll do good movie night. <laughs> solidarity, whatever. Um, you know, it's not really a thing. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that that's the conversation. The conversation is that Twitch has really easily exploitable user creation systems. And they need to patch that hole. Until they patch that hole, it really doesn't matter how much moderation or auto mod or whatever bullshit Unicode detection systems that they implement. They need to patch the user creation hole. That's it. If they do that, then most of the bot, uh, bot swarms go away automatically. Uh, Amanda, what are the Brazilian uh, streamers facing? Uh, Sleep easy. I have seen arguments that Twitch likes the inflated user counts. That they are disincentivized by advertising revenue and the metrics they use to inflate, artificially inflate their user counts. Simultaneously. Yep. Apparently, okay, so Hassan yesterday went over this in detail. He said he has spoken with Twitch and they are working on it, whatever that fucking means. Um, you're welcome, Sleep. I didn't know that. They let you create five accounts to one email. Hmm. Yeah, Ninja, yeah, that's working on it, lols. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Foss. Looks like it's time to get a new laptop. Twitch is pretty much incompatible with it. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, Ninja, that, that fucking, um, that broken ass Facebook inflated user count for their video platform is what broke, um, Who am I thinking of? College humor. College humor. Um, college humor hosted with um, with Facebook video, and they because they host they agreed to host with Facebook video because of Facebook's inflated user numbers, and then it came out that basically they had nobody, um, and it completely like ruptured college humor's business model. Silicon Valley hype. Yeah, Ninja, you fucking seen that shit up close. I managed to avoid it. I probably shouldn't have. I would have had a like larger stockpile of funds had I not. Um, you got in there fucking elbow deep and shit. Um, but, oh yeah, 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 uh, Amanda, yeah, that's, that's the localized regional pricing. Um, we all got updates on that. Yeah. And, uh, in like Amer North American, like American creators are getting less as well. Yeah. Like that's, that's like we, like a, a Brazilian sub for us is going to be cents rather than dollars and cents. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a whole thing. Um,
Ah, over here. Oh, Twitch. Could be worse. Could be Podbean. Trust me. Y'all have no idea how bad of a platform this it, it can be sometimes. Um, we were just going over them the other night, actually. Um, Ninja. Fucking Scott and I were, were going over them. Yeah, because uh, I noticed the, the creator panel update. <laughs> Wait, how does that work? Give me one sec, guys. I want to try something here. They're adding a new a new fucking feature. They're adding goal features. Um I don't do this sort of stuff, but I want to see how it works. Oh, okay. So it's, it's okay. So it pumps it into chat and let me guess browser source, browser, uh, goals. Let's do that. Pull that. Block preview off. Okay. So I'd have to fucking fix that to, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pull that. Block preview. Um. Interesting. Yeah. So they're literally embedding uh, goals and shit, like sub goals into the, um, stream panels like uh stream manager panels and stuff now interesting yeah no i don't like it's it's layout either it's fucking layout is hideous and so who knows i ended that stupid goal um you know what? Here, let's just do this. You know what? There we go. Hey guys, I set I set a, a sub goal, fifteen hundred. I'm I'm good for the memes. For the memes, I'm leaving that shit on. Yeah, I'm leaving that shit on for the memes. We're we're gonna set it to fifteen hundred. Um. Yeah, nonsense. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm being psychologically manipulated and my self-programmed response to this is that I now want tacos. Oh, premarital, you're right. Hold on. Premarital, you're right. You're right. Premarital, I'm I'm sorry. Fucking end that goal. Um New goal. There we go. So the new the new sub goal is four twenty sixty nine. Yeah. I wonder how often it like cycles. Like I wonder like how often that pops up in chat. Uh, manage. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Do they have any like 370 by 40? All right, let's let's just I just want to see this. 
370 by 40. Do that. Do that. This is what people do, right? They put this shit, like... Yeah, that doesn't feel that doesn't feel horrible at all. I hate everything about that. It just makes me um, Zomo. Oh, all right. Yeah, Zomo. Like I said, um. I'm available. Like, I, I'm, I'm putting that out there. I'm going to put that out there. For those of you who don't fucking know, like, um, yeah, like, oh, God, I can't, I can't, I can't. That just, that just fucking, oh. I'm going to keep it as a meme, though. I'll keep it in the panel and we can fucking, like, we can keep it as a meme. Um, yeah, Zomo, um, fucking hit me up if you need a VO, uh, is somebody to do VO work. Um, and I'm putting that out there for everybody. If you've got any, um, if you've got a need for somebody like in my vocal range, uh, for voiceover work, I'm available like gratis for a while unless, unless your fucking project takes the fuck off. Um, and then, you know, come on, like hook a brother up, be fair about it. But, um, yeah, like if anybody needs any VO work done, I'm just going to try and build the resume and do some stuff from time to time. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, do stuff from time to time. Yeah. Um, can I input a negative number as a sub goal? Maybe. Uh, later, Zoma. Can I do impressions? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> fucking with her, but yeah, I'm going to offer for Toos as well. Cause for Toos is fucking making a game, um, is working on shit. Like I'm just going to, I'm going to put that shit out there. Like if anybody needs it, you know, um, <laughs> premarital. Yeah. I, I, I think it's something that, you know. Shrimps, I mean, you weren't here for the monologue reading, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not a half, half terrible. I'm not, I'm not a terrible actor. I'm not a terrible actor. Um, who we here was here for the fucking monologue, a, a fucking cold read of a monologue improv. Um, I fucking nailed as far as I'm concerned. I fucking did a half halfway decent job. Like I, I'm, I don't think I had an ego attached to that. I, I, I think I was convincing. Um, so you know, yeah, I'm not a terrible actor, and so I can do like VO work or I can fucking say, um, I can do like voice acting or I can do fucking audiobook stuff. Um. Yeah, I just, I have, uh, I have a USB hub under my desk and I accidentally kicked it. Yogi. Thank you. Yes. My, my enunciation is, uh, not subpar. Aaron earned an iron urn. Um. Mm, premarital, kind of. Um. We, we actually talked about one I had the other night, um, or last night, who is pinging me for a friend request. There we go. Um, I walked into, oh, okay. So this was, this was told on voice chat last night. Um, it's not a huge story, but here is the story um, of how Kai hit um, a romance cover model with a stuffed duck. 
Okay, for the purposes of this discussion, first you need to know about this incident. So, a few years back, Fabio of romance novel, cheesy fucking pseudo porn novel fame. Um, if you don't know who Fabio is, I, I just, I can't even. Okay. So Fabio was infamously like on covers of like cheesy romance novels and shit. Okay. So this is, this is, this is all Fabio. All right. A few years back, Fabio was on a roller coaster, opening the roller coaster. Yes, the I can't believe it's not butter guy. Correct, Raphael. Um, and he got hit in the face by a fucking bird. He was going down the roller coaster and a fucking bird hit him in the face at like 45 miles an hour. Most of this blood is actually the blood of the bird. Okay? But this happened. Okay, Fabio got hit in the face with a fucking bird while coming down uh, the, the, the crest of a roller coaster. Okay. 2015. I walk into my Whole Foods. And there, at a table, signing book covers, is Fabio. Right? Not even the, the Whole Foods on the Strip. We have a Whole Foods on the Strip. Okay? Suburb of Las Vegas, Fabio, is literally signing books. Now, what you have to know is that the Whole Foods at my, uh, at my local Whole Foods is, as you walk in, the health and body section, which is adjoined to the kids section is right there as you walk in. So he's literally in front of like a line of supplements. Now, I walk in and I turn the corner and I see a fucking like wire wire rack full of stuffed children's toys, stuffed animals. Sitting right on top is a stuffed duck. So, speaking to that shit posting premarital that you can't get out of your head. I did. I took the duck. I snuck up behind on the so he's in the front. Here's the fucking aisle uh, aisle barrier with the shelves and shit. I go down behind him and I just lob it up. I get vertical on it. Boom. I fuck Right off the top of his fucking head. How, how, how do you not? 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 There is Fabio. Okay, you walk into your local supermarket and there's fucking Fabio sitting there, right? Signing fucking books. All right? And Fabio infamously getting struck in the face by a goose while going down a roller coaster. You turn left and the first thing you fucking see is a stuffed duck. How do you not? How do you not do that? So yes, I fucking hit a romance cover novelist in the head with a stuffed duck. It had to be done. 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 There was no way around it. I laughed my ass off. A spiritual orgasm. <laughs> yeah, basically. It was it, it was meant to happen. It was meant to happen.
trailhead. I would have had him sign it, but I guess that works. No, no, I needed, I needed, I needed to hit him with a duck. Yeah. That's postmodernist performance art somehow. <laughs> Fucking, I hate postmodernist stuff, but <laughs> fair enough. Um, you'd have been stripped if you ran Arcasetal if you hadn't. At least it was stuffed and you didn't go to the meat section first. Himself, I never even thought of that. To this moment, himself, I had never even thought of that. It never even occurred to me. That I could have gotten a real fucking duck. Because the store carries duck. They have them. I could have gotten a real fucking duck. That would have hurt him, though. See, that's probably why it never even occurred to me. Is That's a violation of, like, the NAP. That's a violation. I, I, I wouldn't... It wouldn't even have dawned on me. It, like, like I said, to this moment, it didn't even dawn on me that I could have hit him with a real fucking duck. But that would have hurt him. A stuffed animal bouncing off his fucking head. That doesn't affect him. I was fine with that. That was my only thought. Um, there's, there's the story of how Kai... Why Kai hit a, a romance cover model in the head with a stuffed animal <laughs> um so there's 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 there is my answer um to your do you ever have a shit post that you just have to do to like get out of your head premarital yes yes um not necessarily um you know proper shit post but i consider that a real life shit post he knew what was up i didn't stick around i didn't stick around i fucking giggled and fucking booked it i i i was out of there so i have no idea what his response was but there's no fucking way fabio doesn't know what that was about there's no fucking way he doesn't know what that was about he got hit in the head with a fucking duck he knows what was up he knows that was a callback so I was happy with it. Hey, Polita Twink. Polita Twink. Sorry. Um, um, yeah, he does now. Uh, hey. That's what you... <laughs> imagine fucking... Dude, I, the only part of it that I feel bad was I was kind of like, I was kind of trolling the shit, trolling the shit out of him. Dude, he's signing book covers in a fucking Henderson, Nevada, Whole Foods, like the front of the store. Like, talk about shit career moves, right? Like, that's, oof. Yeah. Right, Ninja? Like, that's sad. Like, that, that's the part I feel bad about is, like, yeah, I was fucking with him at, like, a low mark. Like, that was a low point in his career. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually, Beastical. Uh, for those of you who weren't there last night, after the stream, like, took a shit last night because of my internet, uh, it eventually came on for a little bit, and we managed to watch a good movie on the Discord server. Um, midweek movies are good movies. Um, we watched Galaxy Quest. <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean, Ninja just makes you a normal person. Um, Plutal Twink, I am miserable right now. Physically, I am miserable. Mentally, I'm holding. Physically, though, I am fucking miserable. My neuropathy is flared like a bitch. My hands, my feet, my legs. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Let's just put it that way. Um, yes, Zippy, you did miss it. I'm sorry. Um, <gasps> uh, Trailhead, I have not seen the Val thing, but I, I'm aware of it, and I will get to it eventually. Um... Yeah, Galaxy Quest is fucking solid work. Um, 
What the fuck? Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer Ninja. Um, no, um, well, Beasticle, probably not. Um, uh, yeah, what, what do we call that now? Complex pain syndrome or something like that? Um, no, mine is, I mean, maybe, maybe. It's probably similar. I don't know. Hang on, let me look it up. What are some of the symptoms of this shit? Um, yeah, actually, it's a lot. It's very similar, Beasticle. Yeah, it actually is. Um, mine is idiopathic, progressive, small fiber, non-length dependent polyneuropathy. Um, Rev, mine too. Tony Shalhoub is my favorite, plays my favorite, favorite character in Galaxy Quest. Just a ride or die homie. Fucking down for it. Love him. Um, Beasticle. It kind of is, but here's the, here's the one thing that I can point to, Beasticle, is, um, I have what a lot of people don't have. I have diagnostic laboratory proof that my small fiber nerves are being damaged. It's an $11,000 test, but I have the results and I can show beyond a shadow of a doubt that my small fiber nerves are being damaged. So I can actually prove my small fiber neuropathy. So, yeah. Like that's, that's, huge huge most small fiber neuropathy sufferers never even get that far and so i can i can s fucking just big dick on the table sort of shit like well have you cons shut the fuck up neuromuscular specialists and uh, one of less than a handful of laboratories in the world that are capable of doing this diagnostic testing have confirmed it your input is not wanted in this situation so I can, I can sort of do that to doctors. Um, oh, Patronum, you trying to set me off again with that Sackler shit? Um, gets it, oh, does that ninja? Does the does the Prime Video watch party shit actually fucking? count for anything um because i've never even done one johnson and johnson rev there's some hustles you can do interesting all right so how many y'all motherfuckers I, like i i um Ah, uh, thank you, Twink. Um, yeah, 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 nonsense. You can, you can do it. But it's, is it still, like, who all can participate? Because I know for a while there it was US only. Like, have they expanded it globally yet? Um, desktop web, Twitch, iOS, and Android apps. Oh my god, Rumble, you fucking archived it. Oh, uh, Rumble, fucking, you literally archived it. All right. All right, you know what? Let me try. Let me just see. Ah, uh, it had to be done. Fair enough. Um. Let me try some shit. Yeah, allow it.
Um, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let me let me just see how this works. Okay, so your live stream will be featured above chat and will be used as a thumbnail in discovery surfaces. We recommend making it your full screen webcam. Interesting. All right, just just watching out of curiosity. Uh, all right, cool. Maybe one of these days we'll try it. Um, but yeah, Gemma. Yeah, you. But you, everybody has to have Amazon Prime, and it's a whole fucking thing, right? Like, I I think everybody has to have Amazon Prime to do it. Talk about exclusionary. It's a whole hustle for Prime, yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, not putting too fine of a point on it. No, I don't. Um, Sven, I don't have the hiccups. Anyway, um, yeah, not to put too fine a point on it. Um, we'll continue to do the Discord watch parties instead. Which, of course, as you all know, the method by which we do the Discord watch parties is that we all have our own copy of the, the movie and we sync it up and start simultaneously. That's I, 100%. That is on the record. That is how we conduct those. Mm-hmm. Um... Yep, we all just hit play at the same time. Yes, 100% legally acquired copies. That is on the record. I am stating that unequivocally. That's how we, we conduct ourselves. We would never encourage otherwise. So, anyway. Um, all right, so that... All right, that... that I Yeah, I wanted to see what that was like. Because I, I checked it out when they were first, like, beta testing it and rolling it out a little bit. But, honestly, yeah, I was like, eh. Um, you know what? I'm going to break my own rule, but fuck it. Oh, Jesus, that number just shot right the fuck up. Well, you know what? Um, do you know how far it was for me to find that porn just so I could join BMN? I know, right? Um... Oh, yeah, it's, um, all right, so I have to check out this Clayton shit that whoever hooked me up with, I think it was, I, don't, I forget who hooked me up with the Clayton stuff. Um, that was, that was back there in the past. I don't remember that shit. Um, Really? Let me just check something really quickly here. I can't believe I've never been there. They in that book they have a cast system based on the color of your eyes. So Oh, interesting. Alright. Oh god, he put a knife loaded sticker on his fucking SM7B. I uh I hate that. Alright. Um 
Here's what we're going to do. We're going to break my own rule just because I've literally never done this before. Um, we're going to raid over to 7th uh, because I've never raided 7th uh, before, apparently. Um, I, I'm shocked. I wish I had more people here just so, like, we could do that. Um, like, I'd love to give him more, but I can't believe I've never done that before. Um, so, usually I only raid single-digit viewers uh, or uh, streamers, but... Yeah, seventh has raided me a few times, and I've never raided seventh apparently. So, like, yeah, time for some, you know, payback. Um, either way, um, oh, good on you, Cassidy. I'm glad you guys made it home safely. All right, uh, we're gonna raid over to seventh tomorrow's the 11:30 stream. I'll catch you guys over on the Discord server if you want to fucking talk. Either way, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you're as well as you can be. Till next time.